All right, you should be hearing me by now. You should be hearing me by now, sorry. Okay, Uganda is ready. Uganda is ready as well. Are you able to hear me now? A brewery is in the building. Um, all right, there should be sound by now. There should definitely be sound by now. There should definitely, definitely be sound by now. Amazing, amazing. Crystal clear. Perfect. Let me know where you're joining us from. About 220 people are already online. I'm not going to waste your time. We're going to go straight to work. Um, but let's do a bit of a roll call. So Ghana is in the building, of course. Um, sound is okay now. Fantastic. Uh, Ghana is ready. That's Kelvin Ni Aye. Uh, loud and clear all the way from Ho. Tessano is in the building. So we have London. We have Canada. We have Kenya. We have Uganda. We have Accra, Ghana. Kumasi, Ghana. We have Ho. Um... Let me, let me, okay, there's uh, Kofi Mensah joining from Ghana. South Africa is in the building as well. We have Sunyani, um, I think University of Education. Sunyani is also here. Uh, KNUST in the building, even though Ligon is the only university. Uh, Madina is in the building as well, all the way from Ashaiman. Patrick Sechi is from Airport West. Welcome, 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 everybody. Look, 250 of us. I'm not going to waste time. We're going to go straight to work. Now, for everybody, let me quickly do this so that you can see me and I can talk to you properly. So, officially, I welcome everybody to the webinar. Um, three hours I'm going to spend with you tonight. Um, hopefully, we do not have any form of... Um, we do not have any form of, uh, you know, challenges or whatsoever. Now, these are the few things I wanted to say to you before this webinar. Um, first is I would be very, very grateful um, if you participate all the way to the end because I'm going to go through every single thing thoroughly. Now, a lot of you have been reaching out. In UPSA, I promised a lot of people that I was going to mentor them personally, and a lot of them tried. You know, I had said to my... my um, assistant that we should create a group and a lot of people reached out trying to get into that group all of that is what i have put together for you guys today so for the next three hours you do not want to miss out in any way you do not want to miss out so number one stay all the way to the end i have some juice at the end i have some juice in the middle i have some juice in the beginning i'm not going to in any way you know try and uh you know convince you over sell and all of that just know that you're going to get value. So stay all the way to the end. Number two, like I said before we started this session, I want you to remove all distractions. This is your one-time opportunity for somebody who has been in the market for a very long time to hold your hand and walk you through one by one, step by step, um, guide all the way through. So please remove all of the distractions. I know that three hours staying calm and listening and learning can be very difficult, but I know that you'll be able to do it. Number three, send a link to all of your friends. Tell them that we're live and they should join and be a part of this as much as they can. And then the final thing is I really want you to participate. So whenever I am... Um, Whenever I am bringing anything to you guys, are we still having sound problems? No. So, okay, somebody was saying sound. Please let me know if we have any sound problems. So the final thing is I want you to participate. Whenever I drop something, drop your comments, drop your suggestions, but keep all of your questions till the end of the session. We'll have at least 30 minutes to answer all of the questions. All right, now, the final thing I want to say to you guys is that I am going to start all the way from the beginning because there are a lot of people who know nothing. So those of you who know a bit of crypto, please take it easy. Let me start right from the beginning and help everybody out. So these are some, these are the few things that I wanted to establish. And with that established, let us get straight to work, all right? So welcome, everyone, um, again. Uh, and I am very, very happy that there's over 300 people online already. I'm very happy that you took the time to be here with us to learn and to be able to get into this thing that we call cryptocurrencies. And so I'm going to make this big and then we're going to start the session right away. Now, these are the things that I'll be covering in this session.
Um, I'm going to do my best to go through a complete A to Z guide, sort of, right? It's going to be a lot of information. So I hope for your own sake that you're writing, you're penning things down, um, and you're following as I am doing. Because like I said, I am going to be teaching very, very practically, all right? So let's start first by introducing myself. You already have seen all of the flyers. I have shared all of the information on everything that we will be learning today. And so... All I need you to do is follow through step by step. Now, um, somebody is having a, a sound problem. Please start speaking in tongues and praying so that your house witches don't do anything against you. So let me introduce myself for those of you who do not know me at all so that we are able to get through this very, very easily. Now, um, I am actually, my day job is I'm a public speaker and an innovation consultant. I'm a pure tech head. Um, I am also a futurist, um, and, and that is something that we can get into another time. A lot of you who are here are actually in my community, and so some of you know a little bit about me, some don't, but we'll get into that later. So I didn't just start and pop up in crypto. I actually have other things I have done over the course of the last 13 years, and I'll talk a little bit about my journey as we go on. Um, okay, we can hear now. Awesome. I'm glad that Prof, you can hear now. Amazing. So just so you understand the type of work I do. So like I said, my day job is public speaking. Um, I consult for a lot of top companies. I've worked with very, very big companies. Um, I've traveled by God's grace uh, and, and by the enablement of his divine you know, I have to give all the praise to God. Um, I've been able to travel a little bit of the world, go speak, go talk to people about technology and how it changes the world and all of that. So I'm an Equus Youth Ambassador. I was in 2018. I've spoken at three uh, TEDx about three times. Um, I've spoken in different countries. Um, I, I consult for brands. I've been doing this for about 12 plus years. I've been on like a thousand plus stages, yada, yada, yada. I'm not here to impress you, but all of you, who, most of you who are here actually know me from the... Um, tour that we are on with Elvis. So you can see some of that there, but you can also see a little bit of my work. I've been around for a while. These are some of the, you know, some of the things that I've done on the top is me and CNN's uh, uh, one of their major anchors, Christian Amampo. Sarkadi, of course, is our own person. I have a little bit of background in entertainment as well. That's a bit depilly down there on the bottom right. And um, when I did my first TEDx, I did a whole you know, um, I did a whole photo shoot for that. Now, somebody is saying increase your, so please increase your, 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 the quality of your video. Please increase the quality of your video on your YouTube so that you can have that. Um, now, I want to start by telling you my um, crypto journey. How did I get into crypto? And I want to do that by actually showing you how I did it or how it all started for me so that you understand. So why should you pay attention to me? Why should you listen to me? Um, well, I actually heard about blockchain in 2014. And this is actually my email. In fact, even if I drop off here, I can go into my email and show you a live email. But obviously, you can see this is my Gmail um, that I've taken a screenshot to send you. And as far back as February 3rd, 2014, I knew about blockchain. I had created my first Bitcoin wallet and I had started getting bitcoin in 2014 now it went to nothing you know it went to absolutely nothing and i was not able to get in um and so somebody says, yes i make money for talking I, I make money from talking yes i'll be checking the comments every now and then but let me stick to the the teaching and then i'll come and check comments every now and then all right so yes guys you can like and you share so that a lot more people can get to know and come so why should you pay attention to me well like i said as as far back as 2014 which is now eight years ago you can see that i was already exposed to crypto currencies i created my first wallet and all of that back in those days this is actually what blockchain.com looked like and there was only one of such exchanges a lot of the online exchanges where you were able to buy and sell bitcoin were online forum right they were like um, um online hangouts they look like a little bit like cora today where you just go and some people um you know will um, be willing to sell to you and you can exchange. It was really, really difficult. So blockchain.com at that time was the only way you could access, at least I was in Ghana then, it was the only way you could access, um, you know, cryptocurrencies and all of that. Um, I was alive to see you. So these are some of the transactions. I went all the way back to my first wallet, uh, look for my old phone for a lot of, because of this class, 
<laughs> let me show you guys. I have it here. Um, because of this class, I had to go dig all of my, this is my old iPhone 6. And oh no, this is my iPhone 8 and this is my iPhone 6. So I had to go and drag all of this and try and get all of those details for you guys so that you know that I know what exactly it is that I am saying. So this was what it looked like. Um, I was lucky to see Bitcoin at $1,900. I was lucky to see Bitcoin at $3,400. I was here to see Bitcoin at $4,000. I was here to see Bitcoin at $4,628. Now Bitcoin is sitting at $23,000 and a lot of people are panicking. So you can tell for somebody who has been this long in the game, these are actual screenshots from my phone back in the day. So I saw a $1,900 Bitcoin and I shared these stories a lot with a lot of people. So this is the reason why maybe you should pay attention to somebody like me or to the things that I am suggesting to you, because for eight years I have been here. I was here very, very early. In the beginning, I didn't understand just like you. I was confused. I lost money. I left the industry. I came back. I bought again, and then I was able to get in. Again, the reason why maybe you should actually pay attention to me is because I've been shouting about this for years. And if a lot of the people who were following me then actually did listen to me, they would have actually made a lot of money. This is 2018, 24th of February, and this post is actually right now on my Instagram. You can actually go and read this for yourself. You can actually go and read this for yourself. So in 2018... Um, in 2018, 24 February, I put this as a caption. Um, the growth in digital banking is showing no signs of slowing down. And then I came down, I said, according to the BI intelligence survey, 71% of millennials say it's very important to have a banking app and 60%. I said, where do we go from here? In 2018, I was telling them there's going to be the rise of decentralized digital currency. I told them that we're going to see a lot of Bitcoin ATMs. I told them that we might start seeing drone ATMs that are crypto powered. I started talking about digital only banks, banks that would be fully digital and will not have a physical building. And a lot of people may not or a lot of people did not pay attention to this. Now, let me see if I can do something about this. Um, quite a number of people are talking about the quality of the video. Um, let me see if there's something I can do here. Give me a quick second. Let me go to settings. Um, okay, so I have changed that. Hopefully it helps. All right. So I have I have increased my um, I have just increased my video quality, but you can also improve it on your end as well. So hopefully that is working for you guys. Um, I hope this one can enlighten me. I'll go back. Don't worry. That's why we're here. Um, so I've increased my screen a bit. So hopefully that would help. Yes, I am a futurist. Now, the video on the on the other part that you're seeing is me. Actually, this video is also still on my Instagram for you to go and check. I was talking about NFTs in 2018, telling people to pay attention to digital assets. So the video is actually there. I was speaking in a church. Uh, this was Prophet El Benaz's church. I was speaking in a church, and I actually spoke to them about looking at digital assets in things like video games and the likes, and a lot of people did not pay attention. So these are some of the reasons, but I want to give, please, I am begging every single one of you, I actually want to, so people are saying the screen is really blare. Again, give me another second. Just go to settings. Okay, somebody has given you what to do. So go to settings on your phone, um, and then change the resolution from 144p to 480 or 720 I have already done this on my end. So, yes, I've already done this on my end. So I'm sure you guys can change this on your end. Let me try it here and see if it works for me so that I can. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys need to change it. You guys need to change it. So higher quality. Um, you guys would need to change it yourself. Please bear with me. I've actually clicked and then, um, yes, I'm recording this. Um, it might come for free. It might come at a fee. So let's see. Um, it might come for free. It might come at a fee. So let's see how that goes. Um, let me, all right. Okay, so let's continue. Now, I'm giving you reasons. Um, somebody is saying the sound is very low. Is this true? Um, is the sound very, very low? Somebody says my sound is very, very low. Is that the case? Please let me know because I want everybody to be able to hear me. 
Okay, so people are hearing me. Maybe it's their network. Guys, I'm recording this. So like I said, it might be available for free or it might be available at a fee. All right, let's continue. We have a lot to learn. So please bear with me. If your network is a problem, please keep going and then we would see. Now, the next thing I wanted to actually speak about um, and the reason why you should probably pay attention. Now, I wanted to give a proper caveat, right? And beg every single one of you, it is not in my brand. It is not in my brand to show money. That's the reason why nobody has ever seen me show money before. But because of this class, for you to know that it is true, it is possible, I am going out of brand to um, show you guys exactly what it is. Uh, don't worry about the fee. We'll talk about that. Okay. So is it possible to make money? And I have, have I personally made money from crypto? Well, I'm going to show you a few things here. Um, anybody who follows um, Elvis or anybody who knows me a little bit personally um, knows my desk, knows my setup. In fact, I took a picture of this setup today when I was done. Somebody says, go to presentation mode so the images and test are re readable. No problem. I will do that for you. It might block me on this side, but that is fine. So I'm sure you guys are seeing it um, a little bit better now, right? Okay, so um, hold on. Let me let me make it super full screen. Okay, all right. So um, it's very possible to make money. On the left here, um, you are able to see that's about $33,000 worth of BNB, and that's a little bit of cash every now and then. I even had a video I wanted to show but I did not want to show, uh, that's just, like I said, that's just not me. So that's not something that I would want to do. But yes, it's very, very possible to make money. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you was my 2021 numbers. Now, this is also very, very private. I'll beg every single one of you, please don't take screenshots or anything. I'm just introducing myself, introducing the industry and letting you know that it is possible to make money. This is my 2021 report from Binance. I have been trading on Binance for 410 days. Um, I'm earlier than 98% of the world. Um, the whole of 2021, I traded a total of $369,000 in cumulative trading volume. This is actually confirmable in my Binance. Um, in the six months that Binance launched their NFT marketplace, I had already purchased eight NFTs. And in taking out money in cash, in the year 2021, through Binance alone, I had taken out about $102,541. This is directly from my um, Binance. Now, if you go to my cool coin, which is the second thing that I wanted to show, my 2021 trading volume was $171,000. So you can see that just between cool coin and Binance, I traded about half a million dollars. Now, of course, I did not get up and take $500,000 and take it to the market. So I took a certain amount of money into the market and then I grew it up onto that level through different transactions, sending and receiving, trading, buying and selling futures and all of that. Now in KuCoin, you can see that 100% I was trading solely on spot. And I will explain that very, very soon. Um, then finally, this is another reason why I think you should pay attention to me a little bit, right? Which is out of the top 10 coins that performed the best on KuCoin, I was holding four of them. So last year, I was holding a coin called Tel. There was VRA. I was also holding DAG. And then I was holding KuCoin's coin. So I am somebody who has been here. I've done it. It is possible. It is very, very doable. All right? Now... This is something I want you to know. Now we're about to start studying. Now we're about to go to work. So first thing is, everything I'm about to say to you is not financial advice. Please, I'm, I'm just uh, an ape god, you know, who is, I'm, I'm an alpha sitting in my corner trying to make money to change my life. So none of this will be, um, you know, this none of this will constitute financial advice. I've already given this already, okay? So... Let me see those who are having it. Sound is all right. Sound is good. Screen is small. Okay, I've made the screen big now. So hopefully you are able to see everything. Um, let me see. See your slides. No. Zoom into the slide. No. Um, what is this? Black on black. No. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. So let's see. Um, okay, that's okay. All right. So let's go to the next slide. Um, and let me bring you in. So these are the five investment considerations I want you to make before we get into this. 
These are the five investment considerations I want you to make before we get into it. Number one, do not invest more than you are willing to lose. Consider coming in strong enough to see desired results, but with an amount that allows you to sleep like a baby. Now, I cannot stress this enough. A lot of you are here who already trade Forex. So this is not new to you. And for those of you who trade Forex on a daily, I think you have the heart for it. But for anybody who is starting, please come in with money that allows you to sleep at night. Anytime you take a trade, any time that you take a trade and you cannot afford to sleep, your heart is beating, you're, you are shaking, you don't know what to do with yourself, it means that you are too invested in. When we started and we didn't know how it was going and we were testing it out, we didn't go and take our rent money, we didn't go and sell our mother's land or any of those things, and we did make sure that we came in with money that would not give us sleepless nights. So that's number one. Number two is go risk-free as soon as possible. So please listen to this very carefully. If you are going to start trading with $100, if you are going to start trading with $1,000, if you are going to start trading with $2,000, if you are going to start crypto investments with $5,000, immediately your money becomes times two or times three. Start de-risking. And what it means is start taking out at least your initial investment. So you've come with $1,000. The market has been good to you. You are now sitting at about $1,500. Take out your $500. That was your initial. And take it back into the real world and do something with it. Because then what happens is you have a free mind to be able to focus on anything it is that you want to be able to do. Why? Because your original uh, uh, capital is out. So you are only riding on the profit. Number three, nothing is guaranteed. Even traditional banks have failed and closed in Ghana, in Nigeria, and in all over the world. You can see what is happening. Even the Federal Reserves are fumbling. Inflation is whipping them because they printed 1.9 trillion out of thin air during the corona. So nothing is guaranteed. in this. And I'll show you all of this very, very soon. I would actually show you the bad side and why you should not trade crypto at all before I show you the good side. As somebody says, actually, presentation has made the screen smaller. Please go back to normal whatever works for you guys um <laughs> guys don't worry i am actually going to um keep the recording let god touch my heart and it would be free let's see how many people join vip and then we can see if we can do free okay i think this is bigger i think this is actually bigger so let's go with this let's stick with this guys let us stick with this um let me see if i can make it a little bigger for you okay awesome all right so so the, the third thing is nothing is guaranteed. And I think I've gone through that. The fourth thing is diversify your investments. And this is one of the things I'm going to teach, teach very, very heavily in this class. I'm going to teach you all of the various ways in which you can grow your money. So you don't put all of your eggs in one basket, because if something should go bad, then you will know that there is a problem. So you diversify. And then the final is timing is very key in investing and all of the opportunities in crypto. Timing is very, very key. And that's the reason why I did this, um, you know, class at this time because of the timing. And you guys will come to find out very, very soon. So now, can we get to work? Let's go to work right away. Now, let me be seeing your comments. Let me, let me get your feedback so that we can keep helping each other. All right. Now, it's very important that I give you foundations because a lot of people hear about crypto and they think that crypto is just asset speculation out of thin air on the internet. So I want to take my time and walk you through what crypto actually is, because a lot of people don't know cryptocurrency is actually a subset. Please hear me. A lot of people don't know this, but cryptocurrency is actually a subset of an entire internet revolution called Web 3.0. So let me repeat that. Cryptocurrency is one pillar, just one small, well, it's not small, it's big, one big pillar in a new revolution of the internet called Web 3.0. The internet in and of itself, when it was introduced in the early, um, in the early 80s, late 90s, was a revolution of itself. So that was internet 1.0, the first iteration of the internet. Then there was another one that happened in the in the late um, uh, 1990s to 2000, 
which came up with Web 2.0, which was the second uh, revolution or the second, let's call it upgrade or growth or progress of the internet. And that is when we saw social media and all of that. And now the third revolution is going. So cryptocurrency is a subset of this revolution. And I want to walk you through it a little bit. Um, so number one, um, somebody says my eyes have been open. It's okay. Everything is clear. Awesome. So let's go right into it. What was Web 1.0? And then for those of you who are below the ages of 20 or 22, 23, this might actually be very, very new to you. But for those of you who are a little older, you will know this. So Web 1.0 was the web of SMS. It was the internet that introduced SMS. It was the protocol internet, the HTTP internet. And we wrote all of our websites in a, a language called HTML. A lot of people didn't know this. We had something called snail mail. It was very, very slow, you know, to send emails. And the processes you had to go through was absolutely crazy. This was also the same internet that brought infrared and all of these other things. But the, 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 the work on the internet itself was characterized by HTTP, you know, slay or snail mail or slow mail. Um, and then, of course, we saw that one. Like I said, a lot of you might not have seen Web 1.0. I did. Um, I, I, I saw AOL. At that time, the only search engine in the world was Yahoo.com. The only search engine was Yahoo.com. So don't reply this number. The phone is my own. Okay, what's going on? Um, guys, don't worry. I've, I've told you already that I will save the video. Now, Web 2.0 was all about mobile, social, and cloud. And that's the web that a lot of us, in fact, that is the world, the web that brought the world onto the internet. So that was the world of mobile, social, and cloud. So in the very early Web 1.0, most of the phones couldn't do much. I remember there was a website called WAPTRIC, W-A-P-T-R-I-C-K. Um, if, if you're old, you know what WAPTRIC was, but that's where you could get like all of the phone, you know, interfaces for accessing the internet and all of that. It was a very tricky one, but Web 2.0 brought social and cloud um, and brought a lot of people to the internet. So that's your Facebook, that's your Twitter, that's your Gmail, your Yahoo Mail, um, Hotmail. Those days, they was called Hotmail. Those were like the top three before all of these other ones started coming into play. Uh, somebody said, hey, what trick? <laughs> we used to download games and all. Oh, a lot of people have forgotten this. So this is Web 2.0, guys. So all of a sudden, you realize that crypto is not strange anymore. Because in Web 1.0, payments and transactions were happening. In Web 2.0, Payments and transactions were happening. In Web 3.0, payments and transactions are happening. So all of a sudden, you have the foundation where nobody can make you feel crazy for being part of crypto. Like we are just some bunch of nerds sitting in the, in the bush somewhere, coming up with strange numbers. There is no value. No, you can see that the internet has been growing. So now Web 3.0 is bringing in something called ownership and that is the main thing that we want to speak about. Because in Web 2.0, now, for instance, guys, right now, when I say I own my YouTube page, the question is, what do I own? I own the ability to wake up, log in into somebody's centralized server, and access my data points. But if we wake up tomorrow morning and YouTube is shut down, where is my YouTube channel? So Web 2.0, even though it brought social and it allowed us to be able to add to the internet by being able to write. That's why that's how we got user generated content. And that's why we started getting influencers and all of these things started coming about. But we didn't own anything. There was a lot of censorship. Uh, people could be shut down, people's emails and all of that. So Web 3 says, since Web 1.0 has done its work, Web 2.0 has done its work. Let us look at ownership. And so now the question you're asking yourself is, in Web 3.0, which ones are going to be the messaging apps that connect us? Which ones are going to be the emails? Which ones are going to be, you know, the storage devices and all of the storage platforms and all of the things that we had in Web 2.0? So we have shifted from protocol, Web 1.0. We have shifted from centralized ownership, Web 2.0. And we've come to Web 3.0 aka decentralization somebody says decentralization um type it in the group and let me put it up people know what trick hey you boys are bad <laughs> all right almost 500 people on this class this is absolutely exciting so from protocol to centralized ownership to now all of us 
are fully decentralized. Somebody say all of us are owners. That is what Web 3.0 is about. Decentralization. Decentralization. Don't forget this keyword. It will be very important as we go on. Now, the other thing that I want to let you understand about this new industry is the term Web3 has brought a ton of interest from people and organizations who used to even be skeptics when it comes to crypto. While these subjects are related, they have a different emphasis. Now, Web3 is bigger than crypto. Remember what I told you from the beginning. Web3 is bigger than crypto. Crypto is a subset of Web3. Web1, Web2, Web3. Under Web3, we have crypto. Now, in order for us to unlock the full potentials, in crypto, we have something called wallets, we have tokens, we have price speculation, we have the technology, and all of that. And then under Web3, beyond crypto, we have metaverse and experiences, we have ownership, we have data portability, the ability to actually take your data and transform it or transfer it to somebody else and more and more all right now the next slide now web3 came out of something how did we get here please give me the time to give you the basics it would form the the, the stronghold for your ability to become somebody who is fully established in crypto okay so how did we get here well something triggered the need for decentralization and it started with the 2008 financial crisis so the whole decentralization idea, in fact, the very white paper that Satoshi Nakamoto brought for Bitcoin came out as a response to something that happened in 2008. A lot of us were absolutely younger then, so we might not know. But in 2008, there was a financial crisis that led a lot of people to not trust institutions and banks. 50% of um, consumers were viewing governments and media as divisive forces 20 2008 then social media and web 2 businesses built tools to monetize our data and target ads at us and they were making the money on our data and then we saw improvements in a lot of trustless technologies cryptography and decentralization um, computing unlocked new uh, possibilities so there was a financial crisis the social media giants were making money of us and using us as the product. And then there was improvement in the tech. Creators and independent artists also wanted to have more and more freedom. And then in the pandemic, when everybody woke up, so a lot of you don't know this, but the pandemic that happened about two years ago became the catalyst for crypto as you know it. And that's the reason why a lot of you have interest and you are here right now now so a lot of creators wanted freedom from the apples and all these guys who were taking a lot of the money when they were doing the work then during the pandemic it became um very very glaring to everybody that online was the new normal and if we are sleeping online meeting online eating online we might as well transact online and then web3 protocols and infrastructure started gaining maturity because the technology had been in development since 2008 and then it moved from there now web3 is defined by the um is defined as the internet owned by users and managed with tokens so if anybody asks you what is web3 you can tell them the story of web1 you can tell them the story of web2 you can tell them the story of web3 and then you let them understand that web3 is the internet owned by the people and managed by tokens and we'll explain what tokens are let me give you a little bit of and an, 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 an insight into our market is really growing fast. In 2021 alone, there was $33 billion that came in from venture capitalists. Um, we were doing an average of $29 million in transaction on Ethereum alone. OpenSea, which was the biggest marketplace for NFTs, was doing $14 billion of gross merchandise volume in sales in the year 2021. Web3 is the internet owned by the people and managed by tokens and so that's a little bit of insight as to how big our market is so let's get to work and let's start studying now in every market in every single new industry there are specific terminologies that you need to know 
And so the language that we use in crypto is very important so that when we're talking, you understand very, very well exactly what it is that we're talking about. So I want us to go through the crypto terminologies that are important to your investment and trading life. Because if anybody who knows crypto, guys, we've not even started. Give me some fire. Somebody say that's too much information. We've not started, though. This is just introduction. We've not even going. Give me fire in the comments. Um, and please like and share, like and share. It would help the channel to grow as well. All right. Please drop some fire emojis. This, this is the beginning. We've not even dipped deep anywhere. This is like 10%, guys. This is 10%. <laughs> All right. Let me see your fire. Let me see your fire. All right. So let's go into our crypto terminologies, right? What should you know? Okay. So let's go straight into it. Now, number one is D-Y-O-R. Some people will say Dior, but we don't say Dior. We write it as an abbreviation, D-Y-O-R. Whenever you see D-Y-O-R, it simply means do your own research. And oftentimes when we give signals, we add D-Y-O-R and we add N-F-A. D-Y-O-R and then we add N-F-A. When you see those things, D-Y-O-R simply means do your own research and N-F-A simply means not financial advice, D-Y-O-R. The second thing that I want you to know is market cap. Now, market cap is defined as the circulating supply of a token multiplied by its current price. I will tell you guys more about this when we go on there to absolutely go and see what is going on. Now, the next term is fiat. Fiat is basically conventional currency, your, na your nation's currency. So those who are joining from Canada, that's the, U the, the Canadian dollar. If you're joining from the U.S., the United States dollar. If you're in Ghana, Ghana cities. If you're in Nigeria, Naira. If you're in South Africa, Rand, Yen, Pound, wherever you are. So nations, currencies, conventional currencies are called fiat. All right. The next is pump and dump. Now, a lot of people would be hearing this. A lot of people will throw this word around. Pump and dump is simply when people artificially inflate the price of a token with false information or some form of, you know, a giddy marketing for people to go and buy and then they sell off at the top, you know. So pump and dump, it, the name says it for itself. That's the term number four. Term number five is huddle. In one of the tall cities, I was actually wearing a T-shirt that stated huddle. Um, and basically huddle means hold on for your dear life. Hold on for dear life. H-O-D-L. So when you see people say huddle, it means that the coin you are holding has dropped and you want to cry and do a funeral, but you need to keep on holding. So the picture of this, if you see the memes for huddle, I'll show you a meme for it. It's literally like hanging out of a train and holding on to the train because you don't know what's going to happen to you. The next term is FOMO, F-O-M-O. -O. And this is not a crypto term. It's actually a full financial markets term. Um, fear of missing out is even the psychological term, I think. Uh, it applies to life in general. So fear of missing out. So whenever you say, when you hear people say, oh, people are FOMOing into this coin, of course, it means that they are so scared of missing out. The coin is probably going up and they just want to run in. If they lose, they lose. If they die, they die. It's, it's as simple as that, right? Now, the next one is FUD, F-U-D, FUD. FUD stands for fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So whenever you go into any Telegram group, they will give a warning, no FUD here, no FUD here, no F-U-D here. It means don't come and do willy and bring your witchcraft and come and say negative things about the project so people will be scared. Because of how volatile crypto is, if people get scared, they panic and they do nonsense. So every project tries to move its project away from fear, uncertainty and doubt. And FUD is normally engineered by unhappy people. People who are not happy, they will just go and scatter the thing for every single person. Another term you might hear a lot in crypto is proof of work, POW. So whenever you see PO, POW, PO stands for proof of work. And it's actually a consensus algorithm. And I'll talk about that when we get to a little bit of the technical part of how some of the projects work. Paramount among them is a project called Ethereum or a coin or currency called Ethereum. So Ethereum uses the proof of work consensus and it's technical I'll speak about, but know the term. The term is PO, P-O-W, PO, not P-O-S-O, PO, 
So no fat here in this our class. In fact, let me put it, don't fat, don't misbehave in this class. The next one is bear and boo. And this is very, very important. So we have what we call a bear market or a bear sentiment. And we have what we call a bull market or bull sentiment. Whenever you hear bear, bear means that the market prices are going down. And then whenever you hear bull, which is the opposite, it means the market prices are going up. So bear and bull. Then you will see the word or the letters A-T-H, a lot of time. A-T-H, a lot of time. A-T-H, a lot of the time. A-T-H stands for all-time high. And it basically means the highest price the coin or currency has ever attained in its life. The highest price a coin or currency has ever attained in its life life then you're going to hear the word altcoin a lot altcoins in fact in this our teaching i'm going to say a lot of things about altcoins so altcoins are any other coin apart from bitcoin bitcoin is the big mama bitcoin is the big guy so when you are no more talking about bitcoin all of the 20,000 plus cryptocurrencies that have come into the existence since the beginning of cryptocurrencies are called altcoins. I think the alt stands for alternative, I guess, alternative coins. Then apart from PO, we have POS or POS. <laughs> PO or POS is proof of stake. So another consensus algorithm, and I'll explain. Consensus algorithm is the method by which a network rewards its um, um ecosystem uh, validators okay let me let me speak let me speak english what i just said is greek um consensus algorithm is the method by which a network or a currency or a project rewards the people who are helping the project to run let me just leave it like that so there are different types of consensus algorithms very technical we'll get there so there's proof of work when i told you bitcoin is like that ethereum so they are minus who are doing work and after they are doing they are done doing the work they get rewarded with the currency then proof of stake is you buy the currency and you you put you lock it away and as far as you're holding and locking that coin away you are also getting rewarded so two um different um uh, consensus algorithms pos then you're going to see the word whale um and in fact let's continue there's more here so let me come back a bit so you guys can see more terms and then we can go straight to work. So another term, um, Bitcoin is the boss. Yes, of course, Bitcoin is the boss. Um, uh, Lena is enjoying it so far. Let me take some comments real quick. The network is buffering. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they will agree with me. Okay, too much big words. No, they are not big words. So they are all technicalities. So we'll go there. Another term you need to know is will. And please keep a lot of mind on this whales now whale refers to someone who owns a large amount of cryptocurrency alluding to the size and power of a whale a crypto whale so anybody who holds an enough of a currency that they can move the market you will know somebody says you're firing somebody says the word is too small let's push this uh to 1k we are about 3,000 people in the group share 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 all right now um Thumbs I'll be back after taking fire. <laughs> All right, go take a shower and come back. All right, so we have whale. The next term, so whale is anybody who is holding enough that it can move the market. The opposite of whale is a shrimp. A shrimp is somebody who is holding such a small amount that not, you know, their money, not the matter for market, you understand? So that's a whale and a shrimp. All right, now let's go to the next one. Moon, you are going to hear this word a lot. Moon 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 uh the term whale is also found in games as well i have been told yes i have been told now a moon is a token a token is considered to be mooning when its price gets a drastic spike we call it the green candle dildo don't think bunny in your head stop singing in your head the word dildo is not meant to be what you are thinking respect yourself but in crypto, we use the word green dildo. That means the coin has just done like this and it's standing putty like that. So when you say a coin is moony, like we see people screaming to the moon, moon, it means that bush, that thing has gone up completely. All right. So that's Bitcoin blasting to the moon. The next one is going to be shale. Shale simply means promote. So when somebody says, can you shale your, your next uh, 100x coin? It means promote or tell me or market 
your next 100x coin to me. So the word shale actually means um, actually means you are promoting a project. So stop saying dildo, your dildo. I told you, stay in church and stop doing those unnecessary things. Um, <laughs> he over me. <laughs> All right. So um, Elon Musk uh, does a lot of shilling on Bitcoin. Uh, sorry, on Dogecoin. He does a lot of shilling on Dogecoin. The next term is huddle, and I've already shown you. So you can see the picture. The war is against us, but you better hold on. Huddle. So the word is actually supposed to be hold on for dear life, like hold on. And then because they wanted to, you know, they added that for their life, it became huddle. So the word is actually hold, and they've turned it around. Somebody says, I'm so grateful for today. It's a turning point where the next generation of wealth movers, otherwise they do the make it off. It's true. It's in crypto. The next one is FOMO. We've gone through FOMO. Look at what FOMO looks like. Let me try and open it a little big. So this is FOMO. Um, should I enter down here? He will not come and buy down here. He will not. Then when he gets up here, he says, oh my God, everybody is buying. And then they will enter. Then he will go down. Then he will get, he will panic and he will sell and he will cry. So this is what FOMO actually looks like in real life. Then with FAD, I've actually gone through FAD. Then you will hear a lot of the word when Lambo. When Lambo. When Lambo. Okay. Now, Lambo or Lamborghini is a status symbol of luxury. And in crypto, it's like the highest for if you get Lambo, you're gone. That's why for those of you who love and follow um, um, Elvis. Elvis owns a Lambo. He's a big dog in this our game, right? I don't have a Lambo. You know, I'm, I'm a small big dog. <laughs> but Lambo, when somebody says when Lambo, it means when can we get crazy rich from the coin? So we bought a coin. We want the coin to go up. We've been waiting. The coin not they go. Then we ask each other when Lambo. It means oh God, when this thing go. When, when are we going to be able to buy? Okay. Um. Is anybody, someone say speaker is down, please. I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, is any speaker down? Okay, let's continue. You're able to hear me. Let me know if you can hear me. Yes, yes, yes. In the group, let me know you if you can hear me. All right. Then we have diamond hands. Very, very important. You are like Thanos. Nothing they do will change your mind. You want to do like this and, and hold your crypto. So nobody, um, I'm going to teach that. We're about to go there, please. I'm here to teach how you can change your money and all of that. We're about to do that right now. Don't worry. So diamond hands means you have been holding them. Right now, I'm a diamond hand. If I show you people where my money has fallen from now and I am still holding, you can know that I am it. So diamond hands refers to the strength of a person to hold on to a, uh, a, to a cryptocurrency regardless of the risk and usually has a larger end goal or profit in mind. Diamond, diamond hands also means, okay, you bought the coin at $1,000. The coin is not $100,000. You say, hey, hey, I won't sell. I am holding to $1 million. Hey, your spirit is hard. <laughs> that is diamond hands. The opposite of diamond hands is paper hands. Yes. So, sorry for those of you who don't understand tree. I'm very, very sorry. All right. So, um, when future is when Lambo. Well, I'm teaching you guys so we can make Lambo. So, the opposite of diamond hands is paper hands. Diamond hands is paper hands. Hands. We've already gone through pump and dump. We've gone through pump and dump. So now let's start learning. Let's go through the top 10 sites you would need to make money with cryptocurrency. And I'm going to show you all of them practically step by step. I will start some of them on the screen and then I will switch to my phone because a lot of what we'll be doing will be done on phone. And I want you guys to be able to see um, and follow suit. So let's get right to work. Can we get to it? Are you guys ready for the next phase? We finished with phase one. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Um, how are you feeling? We finished phase one. We finished phase one. How are you feeling, guys? Give me some feedback. Let me drink some water. We go to phase two. We're doing like five phases. How are you feeling, guys? How are you? I need to take a, a quick video. Let me see your feedback. Let me see your feedback. Are you ready for phase two? Let me take a quick video and put on Instagram so they see that over 500 people joined us and are learning. This is absolutely fantastic. Normally, people think that Ghanaians, look at this. This is absolutely amazing. 400 and almost 500 people online now and is going crazy with this webinar. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much. All right. How's everybody feeling? How, how's everybody feeling? Let me post this real quick. All right, now let's get back to work. So the first 
ever, first ever website I'm going to teach you is the website called Coin Market Cap. Coin Market Cap. Coin Market Cap. Coin Market Cap. All right. I'm setting something up here real quick for us. So please bear with me because I need to start teaching also on the phone so you guys can know and do everything that I know. All right. So I'm getting that set. Coin market cap. Somebody write it in the comments so that I post it. Uh, somebody says, can you have the slide after the class on the Telegram page? I'll think about that as well. <laughs> Some is our own BUSD to you. Nice, 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 nice. Feeling highly spiritual crypto wow i need to i need to show you guys this let me <laughs> um where is it feeling highly spiritual crypto Kali speaking hey which english in the who is feeling mad please calm down no feel mad though no feel mad though. <laughs> okay all right coin market cap exactly this is what we're talking about exactly coin market cap so this is coin market cap on desktop let me bring in my phone real quick so that my phone can also help in the process hold on guys good let me go to my settings camera and change to the back camera what's the problem was it uh -huh. okay so i'll bring my phone in as well okay let me enter here awesome awesome fantastic all right, so coin market cap. This is what it looks like on your um, desktop, okay. But what I want you guys to do is also have it on phone because I'm going to show you the phone as well. I'm going to show you phone as well. Um, somebody says, Me too. I see you some uh, coin market cap five. Um, is Elvis here? Oh, Elvis is here. Can you guys imagine? Yo, let's show some love to Elvis. Drop some fire for you, aesthetic legend, man. Good to have you here, brother. Um, and Nana Elvis is so 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 good to have you here. Awesome. Okay, so let's continue work now. Coin Market Cup. I want you to download it on your phone as well. I will show you what it looks like on phone, but I want to teach you the use of Coin Market Cup. Let's start. So we're going through ten websites that would be necessary for your crypto trading journey. Ten important websites. Now I'm giving all of this absolutely for free. People teach this stuff and charge a ton of money. But like I said, my job here, Elvis told me to do this. Elvis said I should do this to support and help. Otherwise, this would have been a paid one right from the start or right from the get-go. So that's why I'm saying show a lot of love to the US 30 legend. Today, we traded NFP and killed crazy US dollars in profit. So shout outs to the US 30 legend who is here. Your people are here. The Lambo owner is here. Come on, guys. Show him some love. All right. Now. What is coin market cap? Coin market cap is basically what we call somebody should type it in the comments. It's called a coin tracking website or platform or app. So coin tracking platform. Coin trapping. Sorry, tracking. T R A C K I N G. Coin tracking website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today view was crazy. We were going crazy. Now, today, NFP was absolutely insane. All right. So um, please type it in coin tracking website. Coin perfect. We have it here. So what it means simply is this is the place where you are able to get information about different crypto projects. This is what it looks like on desktop, on laptop. Um, you're going to see, first of all, cryptocurrencies by their market cap. So everybody who opens their coin market cap, either on phone or, so somebody says coin tracking website, good, good, good. Either on phone or on the desktop, you are going to see that Bitcoin is the top coin followed by Ethereum. What it means is that of all the projects or cryptocurrencies in the world, Bitcoin has the most money in it. If you see market cap, it is the total value of a cryptocurrency circulating supply. And I'll explain all of this very soon, so don't worry. So Bitcoin is number one because it has the most money in it, followed by Ethereum, 
also has the, the second most money, followed by USDT, uh, DT, which is um, Tether. We have USDC. We have BNB. So what it means is that should um, BNB, which now has 50 billion, come to get to 62 billion, and USDC is still at 54, it will move USDC down. All I'm saying to you is the coins do not um, maintain a fixed, you know, place. It's based on your market cap. So it's very possible that you come tomorrow, Bitcoin will be here and maybe Ethereum will be down. Or it's very, very possible that you come and then BNB is not here or something of that sort. So it's very, very important that you are able to know and pay attention to some of these things. So number one, you get all of the information. What information do you get? You get the current price of a coin. There you see it. Number two, you get the one hour change in price in percentage. You get the 24-hour change in price. You get the seven-day change. It looks a little bit different on phone. So I'm going to bring the phone in now. Um, give me a second. Let me bring phone. Uh, put it on the side. Okay. Let me know if you can see the phone. Hold on. Let me try and position this well. Okay. All right. Let's see. On the side. All right. So let me put my password away and then i'll come and show you guys so this is what coin market cap looks like when you come on phone let me see on the side it's not helping right well, i will make the, the phone screen big when we are going on phone i just want you to see how it looks like because it's the same thing that you are seeing okay so you can see bitcoin is at the top ethereum is nest and all of that i just wanted you to see the phone view Okay, I just wanted you to see the phone view of it. All right, now let me remove the phone and let's continue because I want you to see the use of the website. The use of the website. Okay, um, thank you so much. You do. Um, I appreciate your comment. Somebody says yes. I'll zoom it very soon. Somebody too says um, heat. Uh, all right. So first of all, you are able to see price. You're able to see change. You're able to see market cap. You're able to see the 24-hour volume, and then you're able to see circulating supply up there. So that's the first thing. You are able to get information on every coin. If you keep scrolling, you will see all of the coins. Dogecoin is now number 11 um, on the market. There's Polkadot, there's DAI, there's Polygon. These are all cryptocurrencies and tokens, and I'll explain this very, very soon. Not all crypto assets are currencies. Some are tokens, and I'm going to explain that very very soon um somebody says please the link wasn't shared in your telegram channel i missed it um i don't know what you it's actually on the page if you go it's pinned for free in our page okay um guy you're good man thank you so much man I'm, I'm here to just add to you guys so this is the first thing the second reason why i really love coin market cap is because it allows you to also explore cryptocurrencies by their subdivisions so we have different categories of crypto so in the main website not on phone in the main website you can actually click uh, click on categories and go and look at the different sub divisions on crypto so you can see there's a bnb chain ecosystem there is metis um ecosystem education near protocol options logistics research now i'm showing you this because i told you guys from the beginning this thing is real okay this thing is actually real um chronicles i will kick you out of this class if you don't start getting crypto gas and be careful we have we have we are we are doing uh copyright on that word we owe that word now um, Medici Milonius, we have our own word called crypto gazin. Please keep it. Okay. So I was explaining to you that these are real companies. And you can see here, these are logistic companies. This is a research company. This is an e-commerce company, um, electric global portfolio, jobs, coin found. So there are various categories of real utility projects. All right. Now, um, <laughs> somebody says they do they're almost close to crypto <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yes, of course, practical knowledge based teachings ongoing. Now, apart from that, you can go to Nest, which is DeFi. Um, and DeFi basically stands for decentralized finance. And you'll be able to, able to see DeFi projects. You can go to NFTs. You can see NFT projects. You can go to Metaverse. You can see Metaverse projects. You can go to the Polkadot ecosystem. You can see, I'm going to actually explain a few of these BNB, Solana. 
avalanche. So you can see that coin market cap gives you basically all of the information that you need on your project. All the information. What's a utility project? We'll get there very soon. Keep all of the questions to the end. Write all of your questions down and keep it all the way to the end. So then the other thing you can do is explore coin market cap based on the subdivisions. And this is very important when you're doing fundamental analysis. And we'll get into that very, very soon. The third thing, um, which a lot of you will be using on a regular, is something on coin market cap called portfolio. Portfolio. On the phone, it looks a little bit like this. Let me bring in the phone again, guys. Real quick, um, here we oh, go add add to the stream. So on phone, this is what portfolio looks like. Um, yes, as you can see, this is what portfolio looks like. Now, what is portfolio? Now, let me take the phone out. I'll bring the phone again for us to learn. So do not worry. Let's use the desktop so you know exactly what it does. Now, a portfolio is basically um, you actually tracking or putting all of your holdings in a single portfolio so you are able to get information because you're going to learn very soon when we start learning how to buy and sell on crypto um when we start learning and buying and buying and selling on crypto you will realize that please keep the um the comments very clean guys we're playing we're learning we're working but let's respect each other let's respect others and let's respect the platform as well so um you do please um, um, watch those types of comments. All right. Thank you very much. Referral ID for Coin Market Cap is not necessary. Just skip it and create. You can create the account just like you create on Instagram as well. So here you can see. Please don't buy any of these coins yet. I'm going to give you about five or ten coins that I believe can help you turn a hundred dollars to about ten thousand dollars. So please don't buy any of these. Some of these I've been holding for so long. I've made so much money on it. If you go and buy it now, it will be a problem for you. But basically, you can see some of the coins that I am holding. And instead of waking up every morning and opening each of my individual wallets and going into each of them one by one, I can simply come on Coin Market Cap and I'll be able to see what's happening. Now, I would open a little bit and give you a small peek into my main holding portfolio that I started building from the bottom of the uh, bear market and I've been holding it for a while now. Please don't calculate my money and don't envy me. You have no idea the pain we've been through. But basically, you can see some of the things that I'm holding. And the good thing is, in the last 24 hours, Coin Market Cap will give you a view. In the last seven days, you will be able to see as well. It will recalculate. So you can see we we're down at 72,000. And now we've climbed through and we've climbed through. And now it's sitting around 80 something thousand. Let me give you 90 days. And you see that this was painful at some point. So at some point, the coin, my, my portfolio crashed all the way to about 9,000. And then it started climbing and climbing. Can you hold through these type of things? You put in your money, your money crashes. Will you be able to hold through the pain and come all the way to the top? All right. And so this is what Coin Market Cap is good for. It's really, really good for portfolio um, building. A lot of people prefer that one. So I'll give you other options as well. Um, and so this is Coin Market Cap number one. You are able to get information on a lot of or all cryptocurrencies. Now, I will explain to you some new projects, some new projects um, come up and it takes a while for them to be listed on coin market cap. And so there are certain projects you might not find on coin market cap at some point. And then from there, you would see them listed on there. So you can check all of the information on projects. You are able to go through subcategories and you are also able to do portfolio. Let's look at the other uses of coin market cap. They are very interesting things here. So, for instance, on exchanges, they'll give you information on some of the best exchanges and they have a rating for it. They have a rating of 10. So you want to get into a cryptocurrency. You've seen that the cryptocurrency is listed on a particular exchange. You don't know the exchange, but you want to know if the exchange um, if the exchange is a good one, you can come to um, Coin Market Cap, click on exchanges at the top. You can also get this on phone and go through all of the exchanges, look at their score, look at their 24 hour volume. Binance is, of course, number one with a rating of 9.9 .9 out of 10. Average liquidity is 905. Weekly visits is 20 million people, almost 21 million people. They have a total of 1,681 different markets so these are different pairs including derivatives they have 
also 393 coins that are there and they support almost 50 fiat currencies where you are able to withdraw your money into your own currency so these are exchanges out of the exchanges we have spot we have derivatives that allows you to be able to trade futures so that also you can see the best exchanges to trust and that look at number three the number three exchange is called bt6 this is probably an exchange a lot of people have not heard of but coin market cap has done their research and they rate it number three um they have a lot of volume and everything is there for you to see then they have something called products now this is something i really want you to also get into especially if you are new especially if you are new then go to products because you see things like free airdrops and i've already spoken about airdrops in our community as a way of making money ico calendar gives you information on upcoming um, projects that are yet to launch events calendar will give you a good information about new projects that are yet to come out okay somebody says um no fiat in the city in kaho that be sitting in kaho cry somebody didn't get it okay i was talking about exchanges before if that's don't don't worry there will be a recording we have three hours we've already gone more than an hour so let us continue you can watch the the replay later and then get on that so on products let's go to free airdrops and let me show you how it works um so that you see so you can see there are so many airdrops ongoing um ongoing airdrops this one started june 24th okay this one has ended um so let's look for those that are ongoing there's only one that's ongoing now and that is top goal and they have two days left so you're able to get involved in new um projects that are upcoming then under products you get also ico calendar where you're able to see new projects that are yet to launch. So this project will launch in five hours. Uh, this other project will launch in four days, or I think it's ongoing. This one has four days left, nine days left. Some of them will be launching in two months. So Crypt View is in two months. It will launch on October 13th. So if I want to do fundamental analysis, I already have the information and I can easily go into it, all right? So this is why coin market cap is so important. Now, there are other alternatives to coin market cap and i want to show you guys real quick and then we'll go on to the next website the other alternative and the one that a lot of people use is coin gecko and you can see the spelling up there coin gecko coin gecko c-o-i-n-g-e-c-a-k-o and if you remember i told every single person um you do i'm giving you where i should uh, they will be trying to quench <laughs> you do don't worry don't worry don't worry <laughs> Most ask our please out with okay. I'll tell you about how you can tell legit um air, airdrops. So my network is bad, it's making me miss out. Please record. I'm recording. Sir, please airdrop. Um, I can't see the products on my phone. It's actually okay. Let me go on phone and show you products. Products should be here. Um, okay, there's tools that's compare. It's true. I think they made a little bit of change to um let me see. Hold on, guys. You're right. Products might not be here, which means when you want this exchange, there are sectors, which shows you the ecosystems. Yes, you're right. I think the products don't show here. Um, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That means that whenever you want to access products, you might need to come on um, desktop. So you are absolutely right. Uh, an hour gone. Um, a lot of is futurist. Um, can you still Wi-Fi? Hey, do we have more cafra? Uh, this, this is more informative details, pal. But we still go more. Chai, you do all man plus Elvis. To you guys, make everything look simple. Thank you very, very much. Five hundred and sixteen people are stuck on this. This is absolutely amazing. So this is um Coin Gecko. Now the reason why sometimes I use Coin Gecko is because oftentimes they actually have a lot of um the the prices. A lot more precise than coin market cap. They usually have their prices a lot more precise than coin market cap. So there's coin gecko. Uh, there's one that I also love very much. Okay, somebody even said there is also coin ranking. There's quite a lot of them. In fact, there's quite a lot of them. There's another one that I really like. Let me drag it here real quick and show you guys. It's also called Nomics. N O M I C S, and it's also the same. It's a coin tracking website. You can see projects, but Nomics has a very nice, you know, aesthetics. The, the aesthetics look very, very good, and sometimes the information is really, really nice, right? So, for instance, um, let's pick a coin like BNB and then see how it shows on Nomics compared to how it shows on CoinGecko and how it shows on 
coin market cap and then we move on to the next website so nomics is telling you the price 313 dollars 1.18 percent up market cap is here 51.2 billion is up 1.24 percent but 24 hour volume excuse me is down by five percent circulating supply is here transparency volume is here they've graded it as c they have their own grading system uh you can see the the, the blockchain it's on you can see the website is on you can see their community so you can join if you come down it will tell you a little bit about price points if you scroll down it will give you all of the statistics the price the price change all-time high date of all-time high day since all-time high percentage of all-time high so this is you looking at a coin on nomics now this is what looking at a coin on um coin market cap will look like and let's look at it on coin gecko as well so on coin market cap it will look like this uh, what do you mean precise so sometimes when coins are moving right when the prices cause these prices are real-time prices coin gecko seems to update their api a little bit faster and most of their numbers seem to be a little bit more precise than coin market cap but i love coin market cap because of their portfolio because of their portfolio i'm tuning on my phone with serious connectivity after low shedding my area we are so sorry about that i would keep the recording uh, 2019 messages on IG are still not replied. Was asking questions on your videos you watched. I'm so sorry, brother. I would answer them. Legon Wi Fi, dear. Uh, Legon Wi Fi, them Yopo. <laughs> I told you that go to the right university. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is BNB uh, on coin um, market cap. You can see the website of the project, the explorer, the community. Uh, their chat you can even look at their source code you can see the company that audited them the tax what kind of projects are they you can come down and see what people are saying about it um you can come down and see price information you know um the highest the lowest circulating supply so it's the same information but being um you know presented in different ways somebody says i like your jovial nature Kwame, education with a touch of enthusiasm. We're a guy. Thank you very much. And then finally, let's look at how you will see it on CoinGecko. Same information. Prices on this side. Website is here. Explorers are here. Wallets are here. Community is here. And you can see all of the details. All-time high, all-time low. Yedi, yadi, yeah. So that's those literally three websites that I have taken you through, which are very, very necessary. The other two websites we're going to do on phone. They are actually trading websites. In fact, four of them. So we are going to do Binance. We are going to do KuCoin. We are going to do Trust Wallet and you know Uniswap. And we are going to do MetaMask and um, Pancake Swap. So I'm going to teach you two centralized exchanges how to buy and sell. And I'm going to teach you two decentralized exchanges how to buy and sell crypto. Then we continue our work. Can you see? Okay, and I'm a Wi-Fi I'm Mano. Legon Wi-Fi is doing the work for us. Somebody's watching from the romantic city of Commonwealth. You guys don't have romantic cities in K-N-U-S-T. Uh, we never Wi-Fi, one touch, too much. They don't even have time to waste. They are by the pool. I mean, they are by the sea. So the all of the, the wires through the sea. So they, they get it fast, fast. Okay, somebody is here. Um, so this one says... Uh, Guys, in a circle here because your bag just like empty and everywhere you go. Um, Wi-Fi, I need a guy. Uh, if I enter comedy, you go make. <laughs> you do. You do. I will give you something. I will give you something. Uh, you do. That be so funny. Yeah, for try comedy. You know, learning is better when you are when you are loving it. When there's good energy, that's the reason why I teach like this. Um, someone says eighty megabytes per hour. again. Uh, Kwame, the way you simplify things like a lecturer. Thank you so much, guys. Um, that You learn all of those things from Legon. You know, when you're in Legon, you will learn them. Okay, so let's look at other important websites. Okay, I'm going to give you about two or three more. That would be very, very important. Now, one that everybody knows, because um, Elvis, if you're part of Elvis's community, I'm sure you know this very well. It's a website. I'm going to give you some technical websites for some of the work that we do. Um, thank you so much, guys, for the feedback. I'm absolutely... Um, humbled over 400 of you staying on is really really humbling to me okay so um you're going to need trading view for technical analysis once you go into day trading now let me go into trading view without the bitcoin uh, let me go into trading view itself i don't want to um i don't want to yes all markets okay um i think they should launch crypto in university now those don't you know <laughs> Why 
are human beings like this now. Um, he says, I think they should launch crypto in university. Okay, let's look at this. So you're going to need trading view uh, for all of your technical analysis. And you can see that almost every single financial market is here. Stocks like Apple, Netflix, Tesla, uh, futures, US oil, gold, silver. You can see the SPs, the NASDAQ, the, DJ, the DJIs, the VIXs, the DSY, synthetic indices. Almost all financial markets are here. So uh, those of you who already trade, um, those of you who already trade with Elvis, you already know, um, you know, trade view. So this is the actually the home page, and this is a chat view um, of trading view with some moving averages on top of it. So this is another website that will be really good. One that is not very common that people don't really know about, but I use a lot for my fundamentals in being able to find projects that has a long term. Okay, maybe Jaime program no crack or Tom Bitcoin was sick. <laughs> All right, where are we supposed to keep our clients? Don't worry, I'll answer that question. Um, Kwame Abe, go more at UGBS, uh, the screen clear, please. Where are we supposed to keep our coins? I'll do all of that. Uh, what is War Gecko doing here? Can thank our boys, no more. The crypto market chart is like, it's the same thing, guys. It's the same thing. So the next website is Sci Fi Hunter. C A Y P H E R H U N T E R. Sci Fi Hunter. Sci-fi hunter, uh, sci-fi hunter. Now, this is a place where you are able to search projects and know the VCs, the venture capital companies that have invested in it. Now, in finance, we call venture capital companies smart money, institutional money. Why? Because when it comes to um, VCs, the decision making is complex and normally situated in a lot of due diligence and you know security verifications. So if a venture capital is taking its money or people's money that they have collected to put into a project, it already sometimes gives you a good idea that the project might have potential. So for my um, um, what do we call it for my uh, fundamental analysis. This is one of the major tools I use to pick out projects. So, for instance, there are a few projects here. Let's pick one. Let's pick a coin like, okay, near protocol. It's just on there. So, I will take. So, um, trading view is not free. Please keep all the questions to the end so that we are not, because there's a lot we need to learn. Please bear with me. So, trading view is not free, but they have a free version that can allow you to have three indicators. And oftentimes, three indicators are more than enough for you to pick any good project. So in Sci-Fi Hunter, whenever you come and you want to look at a new project, all you need to do is type the project in the search box, scroll down, you're going to see members of the team, which will give you a good idea. So you can go on their Twitter, go on their LinkedIn, read about them, what projects have they done in the past. I'm already, I've already started teaching you guys how to know good projects, right? I've already started. Yes, yeah, Sci-Fi Hunter, that is actually the word. Sci-Fi Hunter. Yes. So if you scroll down, you would also see that we now have the portfolio. So this is other projects that this project owns. Then that's not my, 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 what, that's not what I look for. When I come to Sci-Fi Hunter, I always come and look for the investors. And right immediately I arrive here, I can see that they are invested. They have investment from FTX, Mechanism, Blockchain, Digital Renaissance, and see, look at it go. So if all of this smart money, all of this venture capital are going into a project called Near Protocol, immediately I start my research. I've come here, VCs are on. I want to go straight and go and read about the project on your website, look at the problem they are trying to solve, the solution and everything. From there, I'll move on. And I'm going to teach you how to actually de identify a very high potential coin because we're going to pick about five to 10 of them today. And I'll show you how I did it through this same process. Um, Laurentia is actually my personal assistant. I don't know uh, this information is too precious. I hope it's safe for us. Yes, I am definitely saving this. Um, I'll start answering questions about projects very soon. So Sci-Fi Hunter. The next website is Messari.io. Messari.io. And this is an intelligence and data platform that allows you to get deep information about projects. 
there is paid and there is free. I actually have a, um, a paid account. I think I've not renewed it in the last month, so it might be closed. But the reason why I really love Messari, very, very important, is the part that says research, right? And when you come under research, you can see there's all of research. There's Web3, there's DeFi, there's infrastructure. But down here, it shows you assets that various big venture capital organizations are holding. So on Sci-Fi Hunter, you can, sorry, some Sci-Fi Hunter, you can come and search for a single project and find the investors. In Messari, you can find the investment company and look at all of the projects they are holding. Are you, are you getting this, guys? Right? There's a whole lot to learn. Um, Messari is M-E-S-S-A-R-I dot I-O. Messari. 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 I've seen that some people have come in here and they are putting some funny things. Please ignore all of these guys. Um, let me block them so they are not able to do this again. Fantastic. Um, awesome. So, messari.io. Messari.io. So, here, you can pick a single project. Let's go down and pick a single project. For instance, say um, um, A to uh, A16 to Z. So we can see all of, in fact, let's go to Coinbase. A lot of people know Coinbase. If I come on Messari.io, I click on Coinbase, I can see that they are holding Rweave, uh, um, they are holding Audios by Economy Bounce, Cello, Compound, Kev, uh, Dodo, Life Peer, Mina Protocol, Zafron Finance, Graph, Sandbox, Tower, Uma, and Uniswap. So this alone lets me know that a very, very big company um, is investing in all of these projects and it gives me a base for me to start. So Messari.io, uh, let me spell it and put it here for you guys. M E S S A R I um, dot I O. That's it there. Messari dot I O. Let me show it here for you guys. Good. Messari dot I O. That's the next website. Let me give you some extra ones for free um, so that you guys can utilize it later. Let me give you a few more. The one of the most important websites you will need in your entire crypto journey is a website called Crypto Panic. Com. Um, I've actually shown the Messari.io on your screen, so you should see it, Messari.io. The next one is CryptoPanic.com. CryptoPanic.com. All right, CryptoPanic. Has, has everybody seen Messari? Has everybody seen Messari? Because I've put that on already. Somebody saw my Reddington. <laughs> Reddington is my favorite person. I love Reddington like crazy. All right. So, Messari.io is on the one. The, the next one is, I just typed it, CryptoPanic.com. Now, this is why I love CryptoPanic. And I'm going to tell you guys, CryptoPanic is a news aggregator. Now, in Forex, you have Forex Factory, where you are able to get all of the news. So, um forest factory our our version of forest factory is crypto panic why do i love crypto panic because crypto panic basically goes to each crypto news website all of the major ones and immediately there's a breaking news they will take it from that website drag it into crypto panic so you are getting news as it comes so as much as six minutes ago there was a, a news uniswap fee switch pilot likely to go ahead this immediately i know this news i have information that can help me go and make a trade on uniswap because now 10 minutes ago uniswap proposal seeks to create independent entity with 74 million dollar budget so seven minutes ago i have the news 11 minutes ago i have the news 15 minutes ago i have the news if news should drop right now that can move the market it will be dragged into crypto panic and you will be able to absolutely get it all right so someone says can i pin all of it um laurentia is here the rest of you who are here i'm teaching i will not be able to type so please somebody should do that work for me i think laurentia has been posting it and i'll keep on doing it so crypto panic <laughs> Nikontiboy's <laughs> neighbor. Um, you man, every day here. Um, come here, campaign. Okay, that's fine. All right, so that's Crypto Panic. Let me give you one last website. Um, this one is just one that allows you to make decisions on it's called blockchaincenter.net. 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 I love it for a number of things. Let me go back and go and show you why I love this um, project so much. 
uh, sorry, this website so much uh, because there are key things that I like. One is I like their tools and charts. One, you can see the Bitcoin rainbow chart here. You can see the altcoin season, which is also very good. They give you information on daily trending coins. They give you something called flipping index, very technical. Um, they have a crypto unicorn index of projects that are doing extremely well. They have dominance charts, and then they have the Bitcoin supply um, chart as well, which can show you whether Bitcoin is overbought or oversold for those of us who trade on the daily, right? And one of the things I really use on this website is to understand the altcoin index. Um, are we about to see a lot of the altcoins go up? Now, a lot of you have already shown you what altcoins mean, so you already know what it is going. Can you analyze all crypto on TradingView? Yes, um, most of the major ones. But the option is to also have those charts are mostly available on CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, and the other coin tracking websites. So you, you can also analyze. But most of the major ones like Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Solana, you can you might be able to do that. So the last website I will give before we go into the other ones is um, blockchaincenter.net. Blockchaincenter.net. Now, we're about to go to phase three. How are you feeling? Drink a little bit of water, shake yourself, drop the comments. Um, if uh, serendipity is in the house, drop some serendipity fire. Um, those who are here from any of the recommendations of any of my partners or friends, let me hear from you too as well. Let's prepare for phase three. How to actually trade on exchanges buy and sell so first we're going to do how to move your money from momo to crypto and how to move your money from crypto to momo let me drink some water let me hear from you guys we're about to go to phase three one hour 30 minutes shake yourself get up chew some plantain chips move a little what's happening man kira's boys are here all right kira i see you uh serendipity, serendipity is here uh not only legon people are here watching my guys from swami magazine upsa is here uh, so many gems. Thank you. You are absolutely welcome. Uh, futuristic gang, my futurism gang. Where are my inner circle people? Some of you should be here. Serendipity is here. Um, do we have any of Yao's people? Is, uh, do we have any of the swinger or the gold people here? Um, let me hear from you. Let me hear from you. Somebody all the way from Ireland. Uh, phase three coming up. Phase three coming up. Guys, are you ready? Phase three is coming up. All right. Phase three is coming up. Let me charge the phone because phase three, we are using the phone. Phase three, we're using the phone. So let me get this phone up and ready. Awesome. Let me make sure. Good. All right. So that everybody can see. Because phase three is. All right. Kema Trades is here. Uh, Nigeria is in the building. Kema Trades again. The DBs are here. Serendipity is here. Fadi is in my inner circle. Good to see you, Fadi. Um, Kumasi Kwaburi East. Uh, uh, crypto Medici millionaires are here. People are ready for phase three. Let me see your phase three heat. Are you ready? Are you ready? Um, uh, how can I have wasted my four years on campus not learning something which will profit me until today? Thanks, Kwame. We all did it. I went to school, go work, work, work this uh, all the way from blockchain oracle. Amazing, my brother from Nigeria who lives in Dubai. Congratulations on his marriage. Someone says, Hey, knowledge penny, nice one. I put to a job, boys. I in the building. <laughs> information we are saying all right guys uh y'all swingers people are here germany is here Kema trade is here guys we are partners we're doing this together they are allowing you to come here to come and learn my apex mentees are here good to see you prosper tete you joined my inner circle about two or three months ago you're welcome y'all swingers people are here let's go to phase three paul Lai is in my inner circle u.s gang the leader of the gang is here kojo the blogger uh boss kwame somebody said Kema has a class at 8. Oh, you go fit talk class. I make it push. I'm small. I should have spoken to him before. I didn't know that we had a class that crashes. But I'm sure if he hears that I'm online, he might do something about it. All right. So let's switch up. Um, Let's quickly switch up. Uh, okay. So let me remove this. And then we're going to switch to, to the, the phone. phone. We're going to switch to the phone. Let me bring it here. Hold on, guys. Trying to get this as good as possible. Let me position it right so that I'm able to do this well. All right. Are you able to? Let me make the phone big, right? Let me remove myself. Remove. Okay. So it's phone time. Can everybody see the phone? Let me hear from you. Can everybody see the phone? Can everybody see my phone? We're going to go on phone now. 
We're going to trade. We're going to trade. We're going to trade. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? We're going to learn how to buy and sell. We're going to learn how to buy and sell. Let me move and then get my password done. Yes, everybody is ready and gingered up. Amazing. All right. All right. Amazing, 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 amazing. All right. So how do I get into crypto, Kwame? How? <laughs> Fadi, you are waiting for my password. <laughs> Habibi is here. Habibi, good to see you. Good moment, sir. <laughs> I hope that's my trainer. Okay, I think that's my, my gym trainer. Sorry, Dipity, I see all of you. All right, guys, let's go to work. Pick your phone. Pick your phone. Pick your phone, everybody. The phone is crystal clear. I'm happy about this. Uh, we really needed to try our best to make it come out right. Okay, so how do you move your money from crypto into Ghana City and from Ghana City into crypto? That's the first one we are going to do. Let me see if I have money on my Momo. Okay, I should have money on my Momo. I should, I should. Okay, definitely. Um, okay, so at some point, hey, this is going to be a problem because I'm using the Momo phone to show you guys the crypto phone. There are other phones. I have a ton of phones because of trading. I have a phone that keeps all my security codes. I have a phone that has all of my um, uh, Android wallets. I will talk about it very, very soon. Um, but no, I needed Momo because I need to use my Momo to send on P2P. But then this is the phone. If I leave and go to Momo, the, the streaming will stop. But I will teach you guys without going. I'm using the phone to watch the video. So please give us a minute to do the practice. Yes, I'll take my time with you guys. No, I can't. Because it has to be my Momo. Okay, unless I use yours. Okay, that's fine. But do you have money on Momo? Okay, cool. All right, so we'll get there. Okay, so the way you are able to move money from um, CD into crypto... Let me position this thing well. Good. The way you are able to move money from CD into crypto is through an app called Binance. It's through an app called Binance. So open your Binance. Everybody real quick, open your Binance. Let me go back so you see everything clearly. Open your Binance. All right. Open your Binance. This is practical season, please. <laughs> that means I'll never be broke in my life. <laughs> All right. Now, let me walk you through Binance. So this is what Binance looks like. Now, immediately you open your Binance app, you'll be welcome with home and you're going to see a lot of things. So I want to take my time and teach you what everything you are seeing actually means. I'll get to Android very, very soon. But um, with Binance, it, it's the same. The, the Binance is the same on Android, is the same on um, iPhone as well. So on the home page, you are seeing this part. This part are um, advertisements or announcements. So the part that you see keep moving. You can actually move it yourself to check if there are any new announcements that should be interesting to you. Um, okay, in USDC, I get pie. Can I yeah, please chop your pie small whilst we start this one. Um, so yeah, that's fine. So this part that you're seeing is announcements and important information. Right under it, you see the word deposit. You see referral. You see strategy trading, you see earning, and you see more. So these are all of the various services that Binance offers. If you click on more, you are going to see every single service that Binance had. So they have send, they have auto invest, swap farming, staking, Binance NFT, Academy, all of that. But I'm going to tell you the ones we will be concerning ourselves with as beginners who want to make money, as beginners who want to make money. OK, so we are not going to focus on all the other services. I'm just letting you see what the interface looks like down on your Binance. You are going to be seeing hot hot basically represents projects that have a lot of attention, a lot of attention, a lot of attention. Then we have gainers. Gainers represents the projects that have had. I'm sorry, guys, somebody was trying to call me. So it represents the projects that have had enough gains. Then we have losers, talking about projects that have been dumping. Then we have 24 hour volume. Now, in all of this Binance, only four things concern us. Somebody should type it in. Only four things concern us. Home, because we don't have any choice. Whether we like it or not, we will land at home. So home, because we don't have a choice. So there is home. Then the next thing that concerns us is market. 
Mark it. It shall never be well with poverty. <laughs> Mark it. So whoever is writing in there, number one, on Binance, not only four things concern us, so four, concern one, home, because that is where we landed. We can't land anywhere. Then concern two, markets. I will explain that as well. Markets. Concern two, markets. Concern three, trade. Trade. So home, markets. Um, trade. I've just heard from Kema. I think he just sent me a message. Sorry, guys. Let me check it out. Let me see. I just saw a message. Can you let them know I will only start when you end? Okay. So, guys, um, Kema is saying he will only start his section when we are done. Thank you so much, brother. Please tell him I've received this message, but I can't reply because I'm using the phone to work. So, the four things where they concern us. Home, markets, trade, and the final one, wallets. In this session, we will not be treating futures because I want you to make sustainable wealth long term. We will not be treating futures. It will be later. Okay? So, home, markets, trade, and wallets. Home, somebody has it. Let me show it on the thing for you guys. All right? That's it. So, on, on Binance, home, markets, trade, and wallets. Let's start with wallets. Wallets is basically where you keep your money. Now, please, before anybody goes and says, oh, Kami didn't have money, um, just because of this class, I needed to take my money off because it's actually bad. Um, it's bad practice for you as a, a crypto coach or someone to be showing your wallet with money. You can easily become a target. So you can say I removed about 5,000 for I was going to use it to teach because I know one Wahala. I know one house which is to use me as their WhatsApp DP. I know one any Yoko to call. I know one Wahala, basically. Okay? So, um, before anybody goes and say Aquano Krana in his wallet, there was only $17. I'm using $17 only to teach you guys. So I just left it there to teach you guys. I moved my money off this. I'll bring it back. It was actually in USDT because I'll use it to buy the dip. So home. Wallet is where you keep your money. And the wallets, there are different types of wallets. The one that we'll be focused on is called spot wallet. So there's overview of all your wallets. And the wallets that we will be concerning ourselves with would be spot wallets wallet let me find let me position this thing well again good good perfect let me do this awesome good so wallets at overview the one that we are concerning ourselves with is spot wallet spot wallet that's where our money will be the next is trade trade is where we'll be buying and selling and i'll buy and sell and show you guys right now for you to see i will buy and sell right now for you to see i'll buy and sell right now for you to see then markets is where we come to search for the coins markets is where we come to search for the coin and then final is home which is where we landed so there was nothing we could do yeah i've blocked the bitcoin people i've blocked them i think i've blocked them i think i've blocked them they are all scammers let me block every single one of them. Block user. This is our game. I'll, I'll tell you all of the bad sides. I'll take my time and tell you all of the bad sides of this, our game. All right? So home. So home is where we land. Market is where we search for the coins. Trade is where we buy and sell. And wallet is where we keep our money. Somebody is saying my interface says I should deposit. Um, uh, which deposit are you on? <laughs> uh, yeah, you do. I see you. You do. Don't worry. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. All right. Now, how do I move my money from Ghana City to crypto and crypto to Ghana City? Are we ready? Are we ready? So let's get out of Binance. Open it again and come back. Let me use my face to open my thing. Unless you cut my head off. <laughs> You've landed on home page. These are the steps. You do that you are today my um, my special PA. Because you want to collect Momo. No, Ahala. Right arm as we go. Laurisha, right arm as we go. All of you, class captains, right arm. 
Um, I have another class cutting in my inner circle. Abel, you are right time if you are here. Are you ready? Now, this is how you do it. Number one, you click on wallet. You click on wallet. You click on wallet. And the wallet, you see overview, you see spot, and you see funding. So you click on funding. Number one, click on wallet. Number two, click on funding. 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 Under funding, click on P2P. Now, let me start calming everybody down. For a lot of you, you have created your Binance, but you have not verified yourself with your national ID. If you try to click P2P, it might tell you that go and do your verification. I will talk about verification very soon. So if you cannot access this screen yet, just look at my screen. So click on wallet, click on funding, and the funding, click on P2P. But if you have not completed your KYC, you might not get the option of P2P. It might tell you to go and finish it. So Ghana card can be used, um, 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 passport can be used, all of that. You can use Ghana card, you can use passport. So when you come to P2P, P2P basically stands for peer-to-peer. Peer-to-peer. Uh, if it's different, please just go to Wallet. Wallet will be somewhere on your phone, on Android. I've never opened um, Binance on Android before, so I'm not sure. But please, you see Wallet. You go to Wallet. You look for funding. So there's Spot Wallet. There's Funding Wallet. Okay. Some of you might be in something called Light. Let me help you real quick. Now, some of you are, are on here. Your, your thing is showing like this. Let me show you guys. Thank you so much, um, Laurie. Some of you, your thing is showing like this. This is how it is showing, like this. If it is showing like this, let me help you. Click on the head here, the head of Medusa that you see there. And then there's something that will show Binance Lite. Un unselected, so that it moves you to Binance Pro. A lot of you were on the, on the light. The light is for beginners. They restrict you. So if you were using that interface, I've shown you how to do it. This is how some of you, yours will be looking like. Some of you, your page will be looking like this. Binance Lite. This is what it will look like. If it looks like this, click on the head on top. The head on top. Click on, ref uh, sorry, click on Binance Lite and unselect it. It will turn to Binance Pro. Binance Pro. Oh, Co Pro. Yes, we are professionals here. We are not, we are not joking, guys. <laughs> we are professionals so move to pro you are not uh, you are not a newbie <laughs> you are not that much of a newbie okay then go to wallet go to funding go to p2p for those of you who it has opened for you you realize that if you have already done your verification binance knows that you are in ghana so you can see that the quote is being quoted in ghana cities on top you can see 8.77 ghana cities 8.78, 8.78, 8.79. So these are all vendors who have been um, verified by Binance as people who can sell crypto to you and collect Ghana CDs and also um, take Ghana CDs and give you crypto. P2P, if you are being able to access it as we speak, hey, USDT buy a deal is because the Ghana CD is performing terribly. So now, look, 8.7. So now, P2P, there are rules here. Because at this point, you are going to start using your money. So please pay attention. Somebody say attention. Please pay attention. Let me give you the rules. Let me give you the rules on P2P. So these are the rules. You do, write it for them. Rule number one at P2P. Don't sell to anybody who doesn't have the yellow tick. Don't sell to anyone who does not have the yellow tick. It is just to be safe. Do not sell to anyone who does not have the yellow tick. It is just to be safe. Number two, 
if the person has the yellow tick on the side you will see their trade completion percentage there's a certain percentage on this guy that i just clicked his percentage is 99 percent so only sell to people who have the yellow blue tick and who also have at least 95 percent me i'm a pa i'm paranoid with my money so i only sell to people who have 98 percent and more 98 percent and more so only sell to people who have the yellow tick that means they are verified sellers they have given all of their details binance knows or has a way of locating them let me show this well yes this is fine good Binance has a way of locating them. Do not sell to anyone who doesn't have the verified tick. Do not sell to anyone who does not have more than 95%. Me, I use retailers who are, uh, I use vendors. Um, you do, they are vendors. Only use vendors who have 98 and above or 95 and above. <laughs> Larisha, you do said let him do his job but he's collecting momo <laughs> all right so now how do we actually do it how do we do it you have ghana cities you have a thousand cities you want to start you have 500 cities you want to start i would advise please start by buying what we call usdt write it down somewhere buy a stable coin this is the reason this is the reason why i will not advise you to start buying something like Bitcoin because all of those other altcoins or Bitcoin, immediately you buy it, the up and down movement affects it. But you are bringing money into crypto to trade and to invest in specific projects. So you don't want to already go and buy a coin that immediately you buy will start going up and down. So take it from a professional who is teaching you as a coach, only buy stable coins. So we always buy USDT. Always buy USDT. Maybe I turn some of these lights off and see if it will help make the phone a little clearer. Let me see. It didn't really do much. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So now let's do this in real life. Okay. So I've come here. I want to buy. I want to buy USDT. So I want to change my money from Momo and bring it into crypto. I'll go through. I've already found Eagle. His um, rate is a bit high, but he's 99%. I want to be safe, so I'll go with somebody like that. Eagle is somebody I buy from a lot, actually. He's one of the vendors I really, really trade with. So I'll click on buy. Immediately, I click on buy. The amount of Ghana CD I want to buy would show up. So I click on, I want to buy 500 Ghana CDs. Now, some vendors would have a minimum they accept. Okay, somebody says reduce. This one. Okay, maybe this, this helps. Is this helping? Let me see if this is helping. Okay, let me bring it down a bit. I think that helped. Okay, all right. So let's go back. We found a vendor. We used our rules. If your prices are in dollars, you're on the wrong P2P market. It means that Okay, uh, Livingston, are you in Ghana or you are elsewhere? If you are elsewhere, you might not need P2P. I'm using this to actually... Um, oh, yeah, free advert for Eagle. Eagle is actually a very good vendor. Um, I'm using this to actually teach Ghanaians. I'll show... So if you're in a different country, please put your country in the comments. I would attend to other countries how you can move money from fiat to crypto and from crypto to fiat, okay? So we found Eagle. We click on buy. You see, by fiat, so the amount, I have 300 Ghana CDs. Now, 300 Ghana CDs is accepted. I have 500 Ghana CDs. It shows me that with 500 Ghana CDs, I'm going to get 56.94 US dollars. It is also telling me that it will take 15 minutes for Eagle to pay me, and it has given me his payment method, and it is Vodafone Cash. So also pay attention to the vendor's preferred method of payment. Those of you who are in different countries, I'll show you very soon. I'll show you very, very soon. So look for the vendor's option. Eagle is only doing ven um, Vodafone Cash. I am on MTN Mobile Money. So I will not be able to trade with Eagle. So let me keep going. I found somebody who is um, 
verified by 91%. I don't want. This one is verified. You can see they are new, 100%. So I might go with them, but just because they are new, I won't. I'll keep going down. Now, you can see that the, the, the more you go down, the higher the prices are. I'll show you for selling as well. I'll show you for selling as well. So we have Quickie here. Who does mobile money? He's verified and he's 97%. He's a very quick payer. So let's try him. We go to buy. His minimum is 200 Ghana CDs. So that's very, very good. I want to buy, say, 300 Ghana CDs. And it is there. I can get $34. Then after you click buy USDT. Buy USDT. Um, so Livingston, somebody says you can go to settings and then set your primary currency to Ghana CD. That's another way to quickly do it. Now, immediately I go, I, I go to um, buy USDT. I've showed that I want to buy 300 Ghana CDs. Um, it would immediately create the order and it will tell me that Binance is holding the seller's crypto in escrow. So immediately I make the order. They will freeze 300 CDs worth of dollars in the guy's account and wait for me. And then they will give me the payment details. So now the next thing will be, sorry, for me to make payment. So you click make payment. Immediately you click pay, make payment. It will show you the amount of money you are trying to pay, the name of the person you are paying, and their mobile money number. You will then transfer the money via mobile money by copying this number and transferring it to the person. So in order for me to do this, I'll need to get off this phone and I don't want to do that. So if you are here and you are trying to, you are following to actually do it with me, get out of um, the class, go and pay the person, copy the number, go and pay the person in mobile money. Please make sure you keep a screenshot. Please make sure you keep a, a, a no. So Eagle is restricted because he has a, um, um, if some of them, if you are new and you are less than 30 days, they don't sell to you because they get issues with a lot of newbies. So you can look for somebody else. And he only accepts Vodafone cash. So please, I look for somebody else. So just look at the vendor's limit. And some of them, if you are new, they won't. Let me cancel. And then the uh, uh, Binance will give you a warning if you keep canceling. So um, I do not want to trade anymore. Confirm cancellation. We'll just go through the process again real quick for everybody to see. So I come to Binance. I go to wallets. And the wallets, I go to funding. <laughs> Somebody is looking sharp. <laughs> um, yeah, pay attention to the vendor's payment methods. Very important. So I arrive at Binance. I go to wallets. I move from spots to funding. I go P2P. I look. I have my rules. I have my rules. They need to be verified. Their completion rate should be above 95%. They need to be having my method of payment. Um, they need to have that. Then they need to have my method of payment, which is either Momo. Some of them have bank. I never do bank. I like my money in my Momo. Just drop them like that. Uh, I'm recording the entire session. The entire session is being recorded, guys. Don't worry. And then I find the person I want to sell to. So I want to use MTM mobile money. I find a vendor. Uh, somebody just said that if you have the yellow ticket, it means you download, you deposited at a base of hundred of thousand dollars with Binance, and that's how Binance. So that means that Binance knows that you have the money sitting in your account. Good information, Chuwuka or Kafo, I'm sure from Nigeria. All right. So um, you can only cancel about four, four. Yes, you can only cancel um, four or three times. Otherwise, the old Eagle is restricted because a lot of the vendors don't allow a very new buyers. If you are very new and you are less than thirty days, some of them don't allow. So look at I, the vendor I actually used was. Um, was crypto was quickie where is he oh because i just canceled though you take him out of my list uh let me see if i can find yeah quickie is here 8.8 .8. um he's 97 and uh, 97 percent um so somebody you guys can try you can try quickie and see okay oh no no that's for nigerians when it comes to crypto <laughs> some of my my biggest crypto partners are Nigerians. We, we, yeah, as for Nigerians, they're gone. All right. So you go, you make the payment on mobile money. I told you, keep a screenshot just in case. You can use some of the vendors accept uh, uh, Vodafone cards, some mobile money, some bank. But to be safe, I beg, please use 
Okay, Kofi Aqua, thank you very much. There are things to check our payment method, yellow ticker verification, trust percentage. It's actually completion percentage and then the CD rate. You go and pay the Momo. You come and you come and click notify seller on the last page that I came out from. Notify seller. Okay, maybe I'll use Lori's phone to do a purchase since she has mobile money. So let me show you a real one real quick. Um, let me use Lori's phone real quick. Where is Binance? I'm sure she's not even logged in, so they'll ask us to log in. Okay, she's logged in. Good. All right, let me use Lori's phone real quick. All right, so we go to funding. We go, how much? Can we do like 100 CDs more, right? Okay, cool. So um, please follow. I'm doing this all the way. So I go to funding. I go to P2P. Lori is already verified, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, yes, they will ask, some of these things will pop up. So I'm buying. Please follow me. Please follow so you don't get into any trouble. Let me look for Quickie. Okay, Quickie is here. But his base is, can you do 200? Okay, let's do 200. But Quickie's base is 200 Ghana. That's the minimum he accepts. Now, each vendor has his minimum. There are some who have as low as 50. 50. 50. Please don't recommend anybody to anybody. If anything happens, that might be your trouble. So 200 CDs. I've clicked buy USDT. I'm going to the next page. Immediately you are done paying, go and notify. I'm, I'm doing it here. So it says um, make payment. So I've made the payment. Okay, so let me copy the number is here. A war unit Ajoa. Let me go out. Let me go and send Momo real quick. I'll be back when I'm done sending a Momo. Okay, no, let me just do it. Everybody can. When it gets to code, then I disappear. But we come and do the code. This is the Unisys number. Make sure you copy the right number or paste. I'm paying 200 CDs on the dot. Uh, features, please allow them to check YouTube. We have a lot of videos. Which is how to make Viva and one hour more for class nine. Okay, I would, but let me just. I promise people I'll walk them through this. So please let me do this. Um, so pay normally. Do not use crypto references. Just use something random. Please use something random. Don't use crypto rep. They, most of the vendors hate that. Okay. All right. So pay. Then I'll put in my code. All right. All right, so I'm done. I've taken a screenshot of this, this mess. I'll come here. I've made the payment. Then I will do um, transfer, notify seller. I've already done that. Transfer, notify seller. Okay, I don't know what's happening now. Hold on for a second. Let me check this out. Um, let me see if there's any problem here. Okay, that's the right one. Okay, so we are basically waiting. There was no problem, guys. We're just waiting for him to release the money. Um, and they're saying that his orders have been completed within 51 minutes. So let's just leave this to run. Now, these guys have come again. Let me please block them real quick so they don't put these things on us okay perfect i've blocked them i've blocked them i've blocked them real good so we're waiting for this person to release and this is how you're able to take money from crypto ronald adiko is part of my team um amazing amazing to have you here brother good welcome um the, the guy takes show you actually sell the car sorry bro sorry i know it's crazy sorry man all right now let's wait for them to release so those of you who are buying uh, most of them will release it within like five minutes, three minutes, ten minutes. Sometimes they are not by their phone, so it can be 20 or 30 minutes. But you can go always to chat and then go and leave them a message. Um, you can go here, go and leave them a message like, hey, um, I'm waiting for release. And some of them, too, they have their number there. They actually put their number there and you can actually call them to remind them. You can actually call them to remind them, okay? So you just wait for the money to be released. And this is how you move money from mobile money into crypto. Now, you've made profits. You, you want to take your money out. Like I showed you some cash in the beginning of the webinar, um, and I want to take some money out. It's just the opposite. I'll go to sell. I'll make sure it is one of these currencies because in P2P in Binance, you can sell USDT, BTC, BUSD, BNB, ETH, 
Solana and a little bit. I think they used to have Dai. So I'll go on sell. I'll look at the various rates. And then I will basically pick, according to the same rule, um, at least 95% have the yellow tick. And then I will sell to them. So in this case, they will rather send me Momo. In this case, they will rather send. And when uh, the vendor releases the money on this one, I will sell it back and take Momo for you guys to be able to see. And this is how you are able to move money from crypto into um, 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 uh, uh, fiat and move money from fiat into crypto in Ghana. In Ghana. In Ghana. All right. Let me bring my face back and then um, leave the phones on the side. Okay. All right. I'm back. I'm back on here. All right. So, guys, um, how, how is it going? Two hours in the game. We have an hour to go. I have so much more to write from here. Um, I'm going to show you a few other things, and then we're going to pick in projects that can actually start making money. From Kenya, um, I don't know if there are exchanges that allows Impesa, but I know that with P2P, you might be able to use Impesa to get vendors. Just apply the same method that I have just taught you. Same method that I've taught you, okay? Um, just as you pick the vendor, select who to sell to, yes. I think that in, in Kenya, Impesa or any of those ones would work. In Nigeria, you guys have a lot of ways. Like you have a lot of P2P exchanges. There is Patricia, there is Rocket Global, GG40 Exchange, there is Trade Fada. There are boys on tele um, Instagram who trade. You know, there are different, different types of um, um, what do we call it? Vendors that allow you to be able to get. But I think P2P also works the same way in Naira because oftentimes when I receive payments in Nigeria, my, my team in Nigeria actually sell it on p2p get usdt and then send the usdt to me okay all right appeal please don't click appeal appeal is if after the so you see that there's a countdown on the payment um there's a count now on the payment if after the countdown wears out the person has not released then you can appeal binance to actually check it out for you okay so that's what so don't click appeal i'm still here waiting for this person to release them and once they release i'll bring that camera uh, sorry i'll bring the camera back and then we'll look at the phone what's the minimum amount that can be bought based on vendors you can buy as low as even 50 cities as low as and i know vendors who can actually also buy from you like when you're ready to say okay let's go back to the phone because the guy, the guy just, just released the, the money. money let me remove this and there it is so you can see 20 um, has been released 22 usdt has been released and it's done very very simple 22 usdt has been released so i click done and i already i now have my money in you so i have crypto that i can now use to trade when i go to funding you will now see that my 22 dollars is there simple and short simple and short now let me also um take money i'm based in ghana part of a signal group okay um, simple and tete, I'll be okay. Good now. Let me also sell and get my money in Momo. So I have some profit I want to sell now. If the money normally we can trade, the money will be in sports. Normally, the money will be in sports, so you have to transfer it first. You have to transfer it first. So you have to transfer it to funding, have the money in funding. Same process go to P2P instead of buy, go to sell. Look for somebody who has a good rate. This is 99%. 8.80, but his minimum is 30,000 Ghana cities. I quite remember thing. Um, so um, I will look for somebody who is within my range. I'm trying to sell only 200 Ghana cities. This one's limit is 5,000. So let me keep going until I find somebody. Um, and you can see how the P2P vendors actually make money. Um, you can see how they actually make money. So coin backer is here. Um, so I can sell to them. Well, <laughs> so um, it's 22.72. I've lost a little, I've lost about uh, 30 pesos or so. 30 pesos. So nobody's taking 50 cities. Oh, oh, I'm doing the sell. I'm actually showing you how to do the sell. I'm doing a sell here. I'm doing a sell. So it's the same process. You go to P2P. Instead of buy, you go to sell. You look for the vendor that you want to use. I found the vendor. You guys have made me miss the vendor again. Okay, I found. Let me see if I find another one. Okay, Philip, not too high. Um, coin butter, good. So I go to sell on coin butter. 
I click, I'm selling all my USDT. It says I'll get 199. It will be released in 15 minutes. I click sell USDT. And then I basically wait. And when the Momo shows up, we'll all see. So let's see if CoinBatter normally pays within two to three minutes. Okay, guys. So let me see. So far, what's going on? Some vendors don't accept payment from third party. Um, somebody is in Norway. So those of you who are in places like Norway, I might have to find a way to help. Because in Norway, I don't know how you're able to take money from fiat. Just, I'll be honest. I know things, but I don't know everything. So in Norway, I'm not sure. But what I do for people who have this kind of challenges, they find a way to get the money to me. I buy the USDT and I send to them. So we can look at that. Um, <laughs> so let's wait. It's in, it, there's a countdown for the guy to release the money to Momo. And then once that is done, you have seen how to move money from fiat to crypto, from crypto to fiat. Uh, <laughs> All right, so that's basically let's wait whilst that is being done. Once he pays, uh, what about BUS? BUS is also a good stable coin, that's the Binance US dollar. But USDT has more vendors than almost any other currency, that's the reason why I want USDT. And they do the same thing Binance US dollar, USDT, same, same, same. How do you receive higher amounts such as 2000? Or since Momo has limits, you might need a merchant account, you might need, or you might need to sell in trenches, you might need to sell to different vendors in trenches and take it different days, okay. I've tried buying. I'm having seven dollars. Can I use it to trade today when you're showing us? Yes, you can use seven dollars to buy and sell. We're going to go there right now. We're going to go there right now. Our Bitcoin people are back again. Let me block them real quick. So we are waiting for this guy to pay us, but let's not wait. Let's not wait. Let's go on real quick. Let me show you something else whilst we wait for this person to pay. Um, let me get calling. I don't know. Love it. He even called me and he sent messages. Um, let me see. Um, no, I'm just trying to. Because he called me as well. Okay, find out. Okay, so let's wait. But whilst we're waiting, I wanted to quickly show you guys KuCoin and let you know that most centralized exchanges are almost the same. So whilst you're waiting for your money to be released, um, <laughs> oh, these guys, they come all the time. You, you'll get used to them, okay? KuCoin is the same. You can see that um, their adverts are here. The one that you saw on Binance, they have the announcements and adverts here. They show you the, the crypto project that's getting a lot of attention. You see the same thing. There's trending coins. Binance calls it hot. There's gainers. There's new coins. There's volume. There's losers. When you go down, it's the same thing. Instead of wallets, they call it assets. Instead of trade, is called trade. Market is called market. Home is called home. So the same thing that I taught you on Binance, you can apply it on KuCoin. When I say we're buying a coin on KuCoin, can you show us a platform where we can buy USDT at a lower rate? I don't have any such platform unless you find vendors, and that's tricky. Stick to Binance P2P. So how will you get profit from the buy and sell? Are you to check the rate? No. For now, you're just buying USDT so you're able to trade in the market. Wait for the next step. Um, Kema Trace is here with us. This is so good. I've had Elvis here. I know that Docas is here. Kira Forex was here at some point. Elvis was here and now. Kema Trade. Guys, can we show some love to Kema Trades? Lord Kema Akwaba. Uh, welcome, 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 brother. Um, so, just so you know, KuCoin. Okay. They said that the money has been released. Okay. So, let me see. Okay, no, it hasn't. He hasn't released it yet. Okay, he says that he has released it. No, that's the uh, USDT. All right. So, you, so you can withdraw money from your Binance wallet or into your mobile wallet without any buy and sell. Now, no, if you want to withdraw money into your wallet, you need to go to P2P and go and sell. You need to go to P2P and sell. That's how you get the money. From here, we're all going for free. Guys, we have about 40 minutes to go, so let's hurry up. So all I'm saying is, KuCoin, same thing. We concern ourselves with only four things. There's wallet, which is called assets. There's trade, where we buy and sell. There's markets where you find projects, and then there's home, where you land. Four, same thing. It's the same for almost every other, all of the other um, centralized exchanges that we spoke about. It's the same for all of them, all right? Every single one of them is the same, okay? So let's go back to Binance. And then now that I have my USDT, I want to move it and go and trade. So we're going to take a trade, how to buy and sell on Binance. How to buy and sell on Binance. Since I use um, Lori's 
phone hold on um let me go back and wait okay okay we're selling back to momo so i'll just use mine okay so now um when you are done at funding and you have your money there simply go to transfer and then select from funding to spot make sure it is funding on top spot down and then click usdt which is the money that you have click the amount and then click on transfer so that because it is only on spots that we are able to trade it is only on spot that we're able to buy and sell cryptos for them to go into profits we go into funding to use p2p so we're going to stage four how to buy and sell a lot of people i give icp you couldn't buy so we're going to buy ICP, okay? So I've moved my money already. I have $18 sitting in spot. I'm using it just to teach, all right? So let's leave Binance. Let's um, close Binance totally. And then let's come back to Binance again. We open. It will take us to home. Um, we wait for it to load. The next thing you will do, I hope somebody is writing this down. How do I transfer USD from Trust Wallet to Binance? And also, I don't have a single Ethereum on my trust. So can you guide me? Okay, I'm coming there. We'll go on Trust Wallet very soon. We'll do that on um, on my Android. So we'll go on Trust Wallet very, very soon, okay? All right. Let's learn how to buy and sell. That's very important. Let's learn how to buy and sell, guys. That's very, very important. Whenever, Because when I'm done, I'm going to give you the coins that I think will make a lot of money. And you do, I want you to be ready because we'll be doing a lot of calculations. So I want you to be very, 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 very ready. You can only um, trade, buy and sell coins on spot. All right, so immediately you arrive at home, you go to your wallet, you go to spot, you make sure your money is there, my money is there. Right from there, you go to markets, go to markets, and then you search the coin you are looking to buy. So in this case, ICP is what we're looking to buy. ICP is what we're looking to buy. Now, ICP is paired with different projects. You can see here, they are paired with different currencies. ICP is paired with USDT. ICP is paired with Binance USD. ICP is paired with Euro. ICP is paired with TRI. ICP is paired with BNB. ICP is paired with BTC. And ICP is paired with ETH. But we have USDT. So we are going to click ICP USDT. And you will see that it would immediately move us to a trading screen. A trading screen so all of a sudden I can see the price of ICP and down there I can see buy and sell when the guy pays then you let me know oh okay they are now here buy and sell buy and sell so I'm here the person has released the money okay so here is it you can see that the money has been released um, because the guys, um, so here is it guys, sorry. Um, here we go. So the order has been completed. The guy has released the mobile money and the mobile money is in. And this is how you are able to receive Sika. You've made profits. You are receiving it. Okay. So now let's go back to our buy and sell. So you go to markets, you search for the coin, select an asset based on the pay. So the, the currency you have that you want to buy, that's the one you select. So if I had BUSD, I would have selected ICP BUSD. If I was using Bitcoin to buy, I would have selected Bitcoin. But this is ICP USDT. The next thing I'll do is click on buy. I will click on buy. No, no, you have to do it. Uh -huh, let me show you guys something real quick. Sorry. Now, when they are done paying and you confirm that you've received the money, you need to confirm that payments have, has been received. And then you put in your verification um, code or security code to confirm. And then the money will be released to them. Otherwise, they will not receive the money. And after they've paid you, you also have a limited time that you have to release. Normally, it's 15 minutes that you have to release the money to them. Otherwise, they will report you as a scam. You are trying to steal their money. So they will send the code. You enter the code. And then real quick, you are done and your money is in your momo smiling this is how you're taking our profit now back to buy and sell back to buy and sell okay so that's it we put in the code the code is 917 
Um, I want to do it completely for you guys. 917-950. 917-950. I submit. The order is complete. I've received my Momo 199 CDs for the $22 that I sold. I give them a positive review, good price, fast transaction. I leave a comment for them. I'm done. I already have my money. I can leave P2P and go back to home. Very, very simple. Here we go. All right. Now, let's continue. So I've come to buy ICP. So first thing I would do is either select the amount of ICP I want to buy or select the USDT I have. And I would always say to you, if you're a beginner, that you always start with the USDT available, okay? So click total USDT. I want to buy $20. I have put it in there, $20, $20. And it shows me that for $20, I'll get 2.48 ICP, $20. So after that, I put in the amount of USDT I want to buy. Then I click on buy ICP. Oh, sorry. Yes, total is 20 US. Oh, sorry. Okay. So 15 USDT. I'll get 1.86. I'll click on buy. And I have literally entered the order. And you can see that the order has appeared down here. Now, if you are not in a haste, someone says, I want to change the number that asks for verification code. Please, how do I do that? I'll show you that later. We cannot attend to all of that because I'm, I have a lot I've not taught yet. So you can see that it has created it down here. Now, if you have a lot of time to buy the coin, you can leave it here and it will fail. But I want to explain a few things to you, but I don't want to confuse you. So the buying and selling process is this simple. But because it's queued here, I want to explain what actually happened. So this price you are seeing here, 8.5 is the market price. All of the red you are seeing here are all of the people who are selling and their current prices. All of the green are the people who are looking to buy and their current prices. So the people who are willing to sell there's a guy now who has 8.5 to sell. I'll put in the amount that I want to buy, which is 15. I clicked on the 8.5. I clicked buy ICP, and you see that order created. Immediately you are done with that, click on wallet, scroll down, and you see that your USDT that you used to have should have moved in value. My $17 is now $2, and now I have 1.86 ICP. And so now this ICP that I have, when the price of ICP goes up, my money will go up. And when the price of ICP goes down, my money will go down. And that is how I am able to buy on Binance. I'll give you guys, I've decided to give you guys the video for free. Um, if we can have 500 people stay on to the end. So please tell everybody to come and let us finish together. If we have 500 people at the end, the recording will be for free. If we don't have 500 people at the end, the recording will be paid. Mika and uh, some one person has left. They don't want you guys to get it. Anyway, so I've bought ICP. How do I sell? Same process. At this point, I go to my wallet. I already have my ICP. I click on it. I wait for it to load. I click on trade. I click my ICP and my USDT. <laughs> And then I go to sell. I have a total ICP. So I'll select 100% of all of my ICP. I will click on um, the, the, the bias. And I'll click sell ICP. Order created. I don't want this. So I'll go to sell again. 8.4, 100%. And I will sell. And order created. And now you can see that my ICP is gone. And I'm back with my USDT. Now, there are a lot of videos. There are a lot of videos available on how to buy and sell on Binance. And when we're done, I probably will give you a lot more apart from, but this, at least you have the phone, you can follow and you can do over and over again. And that is how you buy and sell on Binance in the spot market. This is not futures. This is, I've given you a coin. I told you guys that ICP can do 140X. It's currently $8. We're holding it to at least $500 or more. So you buy your ICP. You lock it down and you leave it. Now, when I talk about security and other stuff, I will show you what to do because sometimes leaving your money on exchanges can be a problem. Okay? Um, PooCoin, their, their P2P systems are 
um, a little different. Let me bring this to the stream real for now and then talk to you. Let me answer a few questions. Let me answer a few questions. Then we we'll go to the final phase. Um, wow, I thought three hours was going to be enough. But at least, guys, have you gotten value so far? Give me feedback. Give me feedback. Give me feedback. Um, so, yes, if we can keep our stream about 400 to 500 till the end, I am giving this recording for absolute free for you guys. And it might even be available immediately we are done. Immediately we are done. Um, Thomas says, I did my transaction with Momo dealer. No dollar amount is the rather in BTC after the payment release. It's, that means that you didn't choose USDT. You bought BTC. So you have to sell your B BTC to USDT. Yes. Uh, I was, uh, someone said, we beg while well, I was both commercial and man, they suffer. I hear you, bro. I hear you. A lot of value so far. Um, Kwame, where you're a legend. I mean, shall I were used to do a lot of value. All right, let's get ready for pay. Uh, okay, somebody has ICP on Coinbase. Okay, then that's fine. That's fine. You do. That's fine. So that's the other thing. Um, projects are not listed on only a single exchange. They can be on different, different exchanges. So absolutely. Let's go to phase three. Phase three, I'm going to show you guys projects that can change your life. Then we do questions and answers. Then I will open my VIP. Um, we might have to do a part two. Amy. Sorry. The congregation is here. Um, Benita, wait, Benita, is this the Benita I know? I have a Benita who's in the States, who's a godmother. Speaking of crypto, I will talk about all that. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go to phase three. 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 Oh, the Bitcoin guys are back again. Let me block them. Sorry. Sorry, 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 guys. Hide. Block user. <laughs> Ronald said, this can... Ronald, they will finish you on this. If you don't keep... They will kill you. Okay, guys. All right, let's get back to work. So I'm going to give you five coins that has the potential to do at least 50x. Five coins that has the potential to do at least 50x. Um, um, Charlie Kwame, you finish. I for chop and good and some female to love you. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. Phase four, let's get ready. Phase four, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is the money part. This is the money. There's so much. I would, when I'm done with the money part, I'll show you all of the other ways in which we can make money with real proof. I will, I will bill it for you guys. And then we can all grow together. Instead of blocking them, report them rather. So, well, I am using a streaming software that allows me to block an account and it cannot unless they create a new account. You know, so, yeah. Um, yeah, there's so much to grab. So much. It's a huge industry. Okay, let's get to work. So you do get your calculators ready. Everybody get your calculators ready. We haven't even done um, we haven't even done trust wallet. I'll go through a little bit of that for about five minutes. Then I'll answer as many questions as possible. I'll see if we can add another 30 minutes, another 30 minutes to this um, for all of us. So we're going to look at 10 coins that can absolutely change your life. Um, again, not financial advice. These are things that I am putting my money into. Um, and so I am just sharing them with you and then you decide what to do. You can also convert from USDT to any coin you want. Yes, you can buy and sell any coin you want. All right. Now, so whenever I say 50X, 20X, 30X, it means that if I say 50X, it means that you can use $100, multiply $100 by 20. How much is that? So where's the calculator? 100 times... 20, it means you can turn $100 to $2,000. If I say a 50X potential coin, it means that you can turn $100 times 50 to $5,000. That's what I mean by Xs, okay? Now, I have this short question, which I know you got, you're going to answer very openly in front. If you have if you have $100 right now, how will you double it, triple it, 4X or 5 in the next 30 days? In the next 30 days, there is no coin guaranteed to give you 5X in 30 days. We are in a bear market. 
let me quickly show you guys something. The question she asks is an important question, and I want to use that to show you something real quick. Guys, let me go on the weekly chat and show you something real quick. This is the current Bitcoin chart in the weekly. Let me take my, my trend lines away. Sorry. All right. Now, this was the top of the market, 68771. Look at where we are. We are still in a bearish trend. We are in a freaking bear market. Let me just squeeze back so you see. The crypto market at its all-time high was sitting at around 3.3 um, trillion in terms of assets. 3.3 trillion in terms of assets. ECG off light for here, chairman. I get 15%. Okay, we are almost done, but the recording will be here for you guys. Let's keep the numbers active to the end. So um, to answer your question, because we are in a bear market, coins don't just pump. I will still show you the potential, but I will not be able to give you a project that will do that in this short term. We are in a bear market. It's a dangerous way to even think. It's a dangerous way to even think, okay? Now, before I show you the 10 projects, I want to show you projects that could or that have done this in the past, projects that I was, I was personally in, so that you know the potential that this market... I'm going to show you two very ridiculous um, examples, and then I'm going to show you a base, you know, normal example of how these things can change. Um, all right? Now, let's go to BNB, and let's do a very simple mathematics. You do... Are you ready? Phase five. Phase five. Are you ready? Now, five years ago, in 2017... Um, well, you know, it's going to... <laughs> Collins K. This your comment has come a number of times. Awesome. Please show us the platform we can buy. Please show, where is it? At a lower rate. No, I don't have any. Um, okay. Can I buy ICP? ICP is high. Leave only buy ICP under five, uh, seven or six dollars. Um, uh, please, all of the coins I'm about to give you, please don't buy. The, the market is going through what we call a relief rally. There's some level of bounce. It is a fake bounce. The market will most likely crash. I'm not saying this with 100% confirmation of anything, but don't buy at this point. I'm giving you the coins. Do your own research. Remember, D-Y-O-R. Do your own research. And then when the coins, when Bitcoin comes down or when the coins are in red, then you buy. I'll give you a few rules on that. But I want us to do some mathematics, okay? All right. Now, relief rally. R-E-L-I-E-F. In 2017, Binance was at 0 0.3 so let's do a quick calculation you have hundred dollars you bought binance at 0 0.3 so put 100 divided by 0 0.3 and you would have gotten 333 binance coins bnb at the all-time high which was five days after my birthday last year may 5th 2021 binance was worth 686 so your hundred dollars in 2017 got you 333 BNB. All time high last year May, on the 10th of May, we multiply the 333 by the 686, which was the price of one Binance coin, and your hundred dollars from 2017 to 2021 would have been worth. 200 let me show you to the camera 228,666 how are we doing a token will not turn into luna i will answer those questions the, the other size of crypto so if you put a hundred dollars and left it for four years and it became this guys what will happen to your life all right let's do a second calculation that's $100 to $200,000. These are things that happen in crypto. So in as much as I appreciate, you know, the Forex guys, I'm a Forex trader. I follow Elvis. I follow Yao. I follow the guys. I am a long-term patience wealth builder because the long-term potential for crypto is what makes it crazy. All right? Let's look at another coin. And this, I'm not even looking at the crazy coins that did 1 million percent and stuff like Safe Moon and Dogecoin and all of that. I'm looking at top projects from their low to their high so you understand when you buy a project low and you hold what it means okay all right let's check another currency 
Somebody should give me a currency to check his all-time high and all-time low and see the potential. List your list your currency real quick. Somebody give me a currency. Somebody give me a currency. These guys are back. Block user. I'm sorry for this, guys. Very, very sorry. All right. Give me a project. Shiba, you know. Ah, Shiba is my favorite. I cry because I have a Shiba story. A lot of you know. <laughs> a lot of you know my Shiba story. So, okay, let me block these guys. Sorry, guys. This is part of the internet. Everybody has access to it, so it's kind of hard to um, block you, sir. No, Shiba, is, Shiba was crazy enough. So let's do Shiba. The people have brought plenty coins. I have more coins, though. Okay, let's do Shiba, you know. That's for Shiba, you know. The calculator might not be able to calculate, though. Shiba, you know. A dog from a All right, we're almost there. We're almost there, guys. Almost, almost there. Let's go look at all-time low. This calculation, let's see people do it with me. <laughs> you put $100 in Shiba, November 28, 2020. So hundred dollars divided by zero point one two three four five six seven eight nine ten zeros divided by zero point one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. And my calculator couldn't calculate. <laughs> she might know it's insane. Look, guys, it's two. It's two million percent. It's, it's not. It's not fair. Okay, let's just use eight zeros to calculate. So zero point one two three four five six seven eight. Then five. I've even taken two zeros out of five. It didn't even allow me. Zero point one two three four five six seven five. So hundred dollars divided by zero point one two three four five six seven five is guys. It's too much. I can't. Let me use poker dot. Let me use poker dot. Shiba Inu is insane. Those who got in that early, it's insane the kind of money they made. Let's look at poker dot. Okay. Poker dot's all time low was two dollars so i had hundred dollars divided by 2.7 i would have gotten 37 polka dot at polka dots all-time high it was 54 dollars so my hundred dollars would have been about two thousand dollars um somebody said solana let's look at solana i'm showing you the potential in this market guys especially for those of you who are so lucky because we are in a bear market and most of the projects are down over 90 percent like you have no idea now Let's look at Solana. Solana's all-time low was, so I have $100 divided by 0 0.5. I got 200 Solana. Solana's all-time high was times 259. You would have turned your money into $51,000. If you bought in May 11, 2020, and you held to November 6, 2021, in one year, 7,900% growth in your money. Your $100 is now $51,000. Enough said. We don't have time. Let's get to work, okay? Let me give you the projects I think have a high, high potential. The first one I'll give you is a coin called Findora. Findora. F-R-A. Findora. So you can search for it in CoinMarketCap. Please do your own research. This is not financial advice. Findora. And Findora has been popping like crazy. So this might not be the best time to buy. In the last 30 days, 700%. In the last 14 days, 700%. In the last 7 days, 200%. In the last 24 hours, 7%. Findora actually has been a blessing to me. But it still has huge potential. It still has huge, huge, huge potential. Now, if we were to put $100 in um, Findora right now, you are going to get 11301 Findora's all-time high was about 10 cents, 10 cents. So you multiply your 11,301 by 0 0.10. And if Findora should go back to its all-time, like I said, this is too high. So we'll wait for it to calm down before we buy. Um, we'll wait for it to calm down before we buy. So please don't, I started buying it. Let me be fully transparent. I started buying at 0 0.001. So I've already done about 7X on Findora. So if you are buying here, be careful. If you put $100, you get 11301 Findora. If it goes to 0 0.10, your money will become 1100 So now it's too low. 
at this point for you to make a lot of money. So let me give you a better one. That, but Findora, I won't be shocked to see Findora at 50 cents, depending on market cap and all of that. I need to do that calculation. I've already given you ICP. Another project I'm quite bullish on is Zafron Finance. Zafron Finance. That is also very high now. So you, you might wait for the market to turn around before you go in there. Now, projects like Solana and, you know, those top projects, I will talk about them very, very soon. But look at um, Zafron. I, we started buying Zafron. I gave it to my inner circle when Zafron was around 20-something. Are any of my inner circle people here? What price did we start buying um, most of these projects? Can you please give me? Um, we'll look into people's projects. Don't, don't worry. Um, all right. So we started buying. So let me know if any of my people are here. How much did we start buying Zafron Finance? Zafron Finance, all-time high was $3,496. So for this coin, even if you buy right now at $77 and you hold for it to go back to its all-time high, you turn $77 to $3,496. So my inner circle people who bought around $24 or $34, they say they are holding like four Zafron Finance. If, was, uh, if Zafron goes back to its all-time high, it's four times 3,400. They will turn their $100 that they bought about three or four weeks ago into about $12,000. So Zafron Finance is one to take a look at. Um, uh, using to pull up. I'm using CoinGecko. I'm using CoinGecko. Um, I'm using CoinGecko. I'm using CoinGecko, all right? So that is coin number two, right? Coin number two. No, coin number one, because I said no Findora. Let me give you a coin that I think would easily do um, what Shibari Inu did, but this is not financial advice. It is a gaming coin called UFO Gaming. And I think if gaming comes back into the mainstream, this will be a very interesting project to look at. Uh, the, the circulating supply and the max supply is in the billions. So I'm not expecting this to get to a dollar. But even if it moves two or three zeros, that's a lot of money that you can make. So do your research on UFO Gaming. UFO Gaming. Another project you should take a look at is a project called Moonbeam. 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 Moonbeam is a very, very interesting infrastructure project that I'm bullish on in the very long term. Most of these projects, I'm holding them for like three or four years, guys. I'm, I'm trying to change my life forever. I'm trying to buy Lamborghinis like Elvis. So please, um, if you're, if you're, this is not short term, you're not going to, don't go and use your school fees to buy and save two features. Come and say it will become times 80. So I will get my school fees plus more. These are coins we're holding. The bull market is expected in at least two years. So the minimum is 12 to 24 months you are holding. Okay, these guys are back. I'm sorry, everyone. They also have access to the internet. So... <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm really sick in crypto. That's why I need Medici. Bless to join this section. Awesome. I will, I will start taking your coins and then giving you my feedback. Let me finish with mine. So look at Moonbeam. Um, there's a coin called Blocktopia. It's been pumping 11% today. Blocktopia is an interesting metaverse coin backed by KuCoin and built by the same people who are building Polygonmatic. So it's an interesting coin. Blocktopia. Block, B-L-O-K, B-L-O-K. T O P I A. Blocktopia. Blocktopia is an interesting project to look at. It has huge, huge, huge potential. Uh, I, no, I'll tell you about all of the of the uh, those things. So guys, I would I'll answer all the questions very, very soon. Somebody says best crypto class ever. Yay! This is good to hear. Um, let's look at another one um, that I'm really, really bullish on over the long term. Um, there's a project called, where is it? I have another project here. There's a project called, uh, Cult Dao. Take a look at Cult. Cult has Shiba potential. Take a look at Cult Dao. Those of you who are asking about Tel, as you can see, I'm holding some Tel. Um, Daffy Protocol, another interesting project. Daffy Protocol. Uh, sir, please, we have a coin. Yes, all of the coins, when Bitcoin crashes, all of them will crash. All of those coins will crash as well. Okay, so um, they will come down. So please don't start buying now. Just get your money in USDT. Um, and part, because you are part of my community, I'll be calling some of these signals when they are down. So Daffy Protocol, please, everybody here should buy a bit of Veracity. That's for this is my recommendation. 
buy a bit of veracity, buy a little bit of veracity, um, a bit of veracity as well. How many coins have I given so far? Um, Razor Network is an interesting one as well. Interesting. Um, there's Cult Dow, C U L T. Yeah, Cult Dow. Um, uh, somebody says, Alvis, when is uh, BTC dumping? <laughs> We're already selling BTC. All right, five coins so far. I have other projects here that I want us to go through. Um, have different portfolios. All right. So Solana, those who've been asking, I'm a big believer in Solana. I'm holding some Solana. Um, I'm also holding some bakery token. Um, uh, Pancake Swap moves. Bakery token will move as well. They work as ecosystem partners. Pancake Swap, Bakery token. Um, I'm holding internet computer. You can see clearly. Decentralized Social is an interesting project. Very, very interesting. Uh, it's building the infrastructural framework needed for people to be able to build decentralized social media. So imagine a decentralized Twitter, decentralized Instagram, and the platform you go on to build that. That's DSO. All time high was 80 something dollars. So it's a cool 10x from here. Um, um, Cardina is one I'm very bullish on in the long term. I will not be shocked to see Cardina trade at a hundred dollars. It's currently two dollars, so it can easily be 50x. It can easily be 50x. I have uh, I've lost a lot of money because I've always met cons. Thank you, Kwame, for this class. Um, I am so glad that you made the time. And then the final one that I'll give to you guys, um, Alchemix. Alchemix is also an interesting coin. Alchemix is a very, very strong DeFi protocol. Very, very interesting coin. Okay, now drop your coins that you want me to um, let you know if they are solid projects or not. I'm going to take five of those. But let me, as those coins are coming, let me show you something else. Um, do I trade shit coins? Yes, I have a portfolio for shit coins that I'm holding for five years. Look at it. I have a portfolio here. I have a $2,000 portfolio for shit coins that I'm holding for at least five years. Uh, the name of the portfolio is actually um, um, five years. You can see 100,000 X in five years. So I'm holding Floki Inu. I'm holding Centric Swap. I'm giving you guys all of this for free. <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, there's Kishu Inu. I'm holding Kin. I'm holding Baby Dogecoin. But I bought very small, 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 small amounts. I'm holding Ubis Network. I'm holding Pitbull. I'm holding Telcoin. And I'm holding Dexa Coin. All right. Let me start picking on people's coins. There's a coin called Meta UFO, um, which promised to give people free airdrops worth thousands of dollars. Or oh, guys, says come. Oh, by this time, you should know. These are These are... My expectation of Luna, Luna, nobody can give any expectation on Luna. Laika, Laika is an interesting shit coin, isn't it, Fadi? I think it's a shit coin. I've seen it somewhere. I've not done any, um, you know, um, any research on it. So because of what has happened to Luna, nobody knows what would happen to Luna. Somebody asks about shit coins. These are my shit coins that I'm holding. I might add some at some point, but these I'm holding for like five years. If it goes to nothing, I lost small money. It's not a problem. But even if one of them does Shiba, I'm gone. Because you can see I'm holding plenty. In the billions of millions of things, okay. All right, Alchemy Pay, interesting project. Um, payment is an interesting one for crypto because it's all about adoption, it's about people being able to get access to be able to use crypto to do everyday things. So, Alchemy is a very interesting play. Terra Classic, again, the Luna issue is very tricky, it could go to zero and shitness, or it could go absolutely ballistic, and everybody will shock. Polygon is a top 10 coin for, for as long as they keep doing the right thing. Polygon is a top 10 coin. Cardano is one of those that can become very big in the near future. But as to the potential to do crazy number of Xs, unless you're willing to hold Cardano for another 5 to 10 years, because Cardano is already in the billion dollar market cap. So that's why I would rather put the money I put in Cardano in that another project that can give me 10 or 20 or 30 X. But Cardano is a solid project. Um, uh, very educated. Thank you very, Daniel. Thank you much, Daniel. I love Pancake Swap. I'm holding Pancake Swap. I've already said it. Okay, that is you do. Farm Yield Coin. I don't know anything about it. Cardano. I've already spoken about Cardano. Polygon is a sure winner for me. I'm holding some Polygon since it was in the sense. Um, the Green Coin. I don't know about the Green Coin. Um, what? I'm not talking about Pi Network. Pi Network is not a cryptocurrency. I don't I don't know anything about Pi Network, guys. I'm not putting my money in Pi Network. I'm sorry. Um, have you been able to withdraw anything from Pi Network before? Have they been guys? I'm not look that you can see solid projects that are working and you know Pi, what is Pi? I'm sorry, guys. If you're in Pi, don't waste your time. If it goes right, my bad. But I'm not in Pi. I'll not put my money in Pi. Holo token, hot. Holo is not bad. I was hold, I was holding Holo last year. And I sold before we went into the crash. I took some profits. 
Um, Polygon Cardano, I've done it. Uh, Pi isn't a coin yet. Stop talking. I'm, I don't know what coin is. Crypto Night in the future is I you killed the almighty complex crypto. We just said chicken. <laughs> Thank you. Near protocol, very solid project, top 10 project. I think you can do crazy in the near future. Kev is a very, very good token. In fact, the price is really, really good now. Kev is a really, really interesting project. Um, it's a DeFi protocol, if I'm not wrong. Kev DAO. Um, and so yes, Kev, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Tron is, I don't know about it. Matis. Is it Matic or Matis? Convex. Convex is a good coin as well, I think. Uniswap, absolutely. Uniswap, absolutely. In fact, with a um, Ethereum major coming, Uniswap might be one of the best projects to buy because it's cheap now. Um, Big get Bryce. Bryce is a shit coin that I'm holding small of, so you can decide. Um, you see, <laughs> Ethereum. Ethereum could even flip Bitcoin. Ethereum could easily flip Bitcoin. Um, near protocol, I've touched it. Venus, I don't know about it. GMT, is it stepping? GMT is a good coin if they are able to keep delivering real value. Solana, I'm already holding Solana. I have showed you near protocol. Decentraland might come back because of metaverse projects. Phantom is a project, it's an infrastructure project, it's blockchain. It is going to be here for a while. ETC, once the Ethereum major moves and there's a lot of ballistic moves in the Ethereum ecosystem, I, I, I expect Ethereum Classic to also move. Rich Quack. I'm holding it in my shitcoin portfolio. It might go to zero. Don't put big money in rich card. Electronium, I know nothing about. Ethereum, I've spoken about. PLC Ultima, their tokenomics looks weird to me. A very good friend of mine is in it. I have nothing to say about that. Phantom, I've spoken about it. Solana is still here. Um, Mana, Decentral, no, Mana is a good project. I've just spoken. Ave or Ave, as people call it, core, uh, core DeFi project. Ave is a very, very good one. Check out DBMB. I'll look at it later. Um... We're going to hold it for long. Render Token is a very, very, very solid project for the movie industry. It's, it's, it's an online um, rendering CPU infrastructure where movie studios can use online servers. Axie Infinity might come back if the game, but their gaming needs to be developed. It looks too pixel and too basic. It's like when we're playing video games back in the days, but I think that it still has an opportunity. All right. Let me take two more and I'm done. Saitama, Saitama or Saitama. Saitama, you know, is interesting. Um, a prophet had said we should buy it. I bought it and I'm holding it, but purely based on what the prophet said. I've not done any research. It looks like a shit coin that could do Shiba Inu, but don't do this. Now, all of these projects, where to buy it and everything. Let me wrap up here and then we go to the final part. Now, whenever you see any project and you want to know where to be able to buy it, this is where Coin Market Cap comes in. So let's go back to Coin Market Cap and let me show you a few things. So I'll just take the last project that I just saw. Uh, somebody asked, okay, Nanaya, God bless you too um bitcoin gold cro okay so let's use cro somebody has put cro maybe kwame has told you to buy cro all you do is you go on coin market cap and you click or you search cro then you come down and you click on markets and you can see the same thing on your phone as well on the markets you see all of the exchanges where you'll be able to buy so you can see that chronos is on coinbase it's on KuCoin, is on gate is on hyobi is on um, Bitrex is on Big Thumb. That's how you are able to see where to buy these exchanges. Now, all of the coins I've given you, wait till the market tanks. The market is in a bit of an uptrend. So get your Momo ready, buy it into USDT, have it ready. Immediately, I give the signal in the group that, oh, BTC is crashing. This is a good time to buy altcoins. Then you start buying. So if you are not part of my community, please go and join the community so you get this information. Let me show you a few other things that we're not able to talk about. Now, um, this is MetaMask on, on, on PC. I'm opening one of my wallets here on PC. Um, a lot of you might not know what MetaMask is. So MetaMask is what we call a non-custodial wallet, right? Um, it's called a non-custodial wallet. So unlike the exchanges where you need to log in and all of those things, MetaMask can easily allow you to keep your crypto without anybody knowing any of your information. The good thing about this is it also allows you to be able to hold projects on different, um, you know, um, blockchain, you know, like operating systems. So if you click down here, you can see there's Ethereum mainnet, there's the Findora I spoke about, which is actually a new blockchain. There's Phantom, there's Avalanche, there's the SK Sync Rollup, there's Binance Smart there's Polygon. I can keep all of these terms. We might have to keep learning as the community grows. So this is one of the places, this is one of the wallets where you can keep your um, you can keep your cryptocurrency. This is what it actually also looks like in um, on iPhone. Hold on, guys. Um, let me show you what 
it looks like on iPhone. Where is MetaMask? Okay, this is MetaMask. So MetaMask is a wallet where you can keep. I would have to teach a little bit more about this, but you can start doing research on MetaMask, how to move your money, the security stuff involved and all of that, right? So this is what MetaMask looks like on, on phone. It's the same thing. So you can have it either on your desktop or you can have it on your phone. So that is MetaMask. Then we have Trust Wallet which I spoke about, we couldn't go through the DEXs because there's no time. So I'll either record some of these videos, how to trade on a DEX, you know, how to use MetaMask, how to use, I might either record videos um, for free on YouTube and give it to you guys, or find videos that has already done that kind of work that I think is very good and give it to you. So this is what Trust Wallet also looks like. You guys have some small dollars, BNB dollars in here. Um, you, can, you can, and then in there, we have something called DAPS. And that's how you are able to access the decentralized exchanges like Uniswap and PancakeSwap. So let me click PancakeSwap and just show you what it looks like. Um, you, Like I said, I'll record specific videos to teach you guys how this is done. So please take it cool. Don't stress. We'll be fine. So this is what Trust Wallet looks like and what the trading platform actually will look like on Trust Wallet. And I've shown you MetaMask as well, just to give you a small idea. Now, Create the portfolio, no problem, I'll show you. There are other things we couldn't go into. I wanted to show you an example of that. We have DeFi protocols where you can lock your coins and get more coins. It's called staking. Um, we had something called notes. So there are different ways you can read. You can actually make passive income in crypto. There's so much more in crypto, guys. Uh, but what I wanted to do today was to give you the basics to be able to begin. Now, what we're going to do is let me start taking some questions, all right? How to create a portfolio is very, very simple. You go on CoinMarketCap. You click on portfolio uh, on your phone is the same thing. You click on portfolio, then you click on create portfolio. So I have a lot of them. So if you come and you have nothing, there'll be nothing here. But if you scroll down, you create, uh, you click create portfolio. Then, okay, you so I'll name the uh, portfolio. This is YouTube demonstration. And then you create the portfolio. So create the portfolio. Um, and then there is it. You see the portfolio is the YouTube de demonstration. There's nothing. So all I'll do is add new assets. So maybe I'm, I'm holding. So I've bought um, ten dollars worth of BNB. I'll click on BNB. Um, I've bought uh, zero point zero three BNB, which is like nine dollars. And I'll add the transaction, and then it will show up in my portfolio that I have nine dollars in BNB. That's very simple. How you are able to do it. The crypto tab browser app is it real or scam? Crypto tab, I don't know anything about it. Uh, somebody is really busy shilling ape coin. Ape is an interesting one. It will either go to shit toast or it will go to Valhalla, where the moon is. Uh, yeah, that will help us keep the recording. Trust wallet doesn't have dabs on iPhone. You have to connect it via your Safari. They removed it a year ago because of Apple. N2 is on Binance. Okay, I don't know what he's talking about. If can you transfer coins from Trust Wallet into Binance Wallet? Very, very easy. I'll do a video and show you how that is done. Alajo Sikeni, I don't know anything about the crypto tab. Um, and then the crypto tab. So ape, ape, ape. Um, you make crypto lessons easy. Um, yes, I've seen this. Please a link to the telegram group. Link to community. Can somebody please give our telegram community group in the link? Can we put it in the chat so that I show it? Please post it again because even I cannot find it. All right. So let's go to the final part. Let's go to the, how many how many of us are ready for the final part of the video? Why FII? Uh, is that Yen Finance, the, the whip up of it? How can I move money from BTC to the spot so that I can buy the ICP? Um, if the, your BTC is sitting on, uh, what do we call it? If your ICP is sitting, or no, your BTC is sitting in funding, you need to move it to spot sell your BTC to USDT, or in fact, use your BTC to just buy ICP because it's possible. But remember, I told you we're not buying ICP now. Why do you have to have USDT before your country? It's a stable coin. You need one currency to buy another currency. So it's not only USDT. You can have other currencies as well. Future Squam is a blessing to Ghana. Thank you very much, sir. Um, have we? Can you mine crypto? Yes, you, there's cloud mining. We couldn't speak about mining. I'm going to have to do a video from there. Where's the safest place to keep? I keep my... Um, the safest place to keep... Where is my... Let me show you guys. Actually, the safest, safest place to keep your crypto is what we call a hardware wallet. Where's my hardware wallet? Um, do you have any idea? Where? In this house. I don't even know where anything is. So. Do you, is it somewhere here? I can't find it. 
Okay, so a hardware wallet. I wanted to show you my own, but I can't find it. Um, I can't find it. Leave it alone. It's okay. So the safest list is offline cold wallet. And then the best is non-custodial, not your keys, not your wallet. But we just saw that something happened. So the best place is, you know, non-custodial wallets like trust wallet, like um, um, MetaMask. And then it's best when you are especially holding coins for the long term, just get a, a hard wallet. I'll talk about that. Um, Ape, I've already said something about Ape. I said Ape, Ape is an interesting one. It either, because of the NFT project behind it and the hype and the marketing and everything, it either goes all the way up um, to Valhalla or it goes to shit's nets. Because they, they, they've had a lot of... Um, uh, <laughs> they've had a lot of interesting attention. Guys, the three hours is up. You misplaced your richest card. Can you imagine? I can't find my... Hey, oh, more. This one is... Good. What? On top? No. Guys, can you imagine? Life, you people are seeing. All of my fans are... <laughs> no, it's, it's somewhere. Um. Okay, all right. Let's go to the final part. Let's go to the final part. Let me bring this up real quick. And then we're out of here. Can somebody please post the crypto link? They've been asking. I can't see it because the comments are a lot. So keep posting, Laurie. Don't worry, it's just a link. Keep posting. I want to share it on the screen. Where the link to the community is coming. Don't worry, guys. Okay, I think you are not allowed to post links. I think you are not allowed to post links. I'm the only one who might be able to post the link because... No, I would have to post it still. Hold on, guys. Um... Yeah, it, it actually won't show. All right, let me... Um, okay, let me post it for you guys. Hold on. Um, people want a link to click, so no problem. Let me give them a link, and then we go to the final part. Because the final part, it would in, I'm about to post a link in the main Telegram page. So... Okay, Kem, I'm done. I'm wrapping up. I'll be done in about 10 minutes. Um, let me go to YouTube and post this link for you guys before we're almost done. We're literally rounding up. Um, so, uh, here we go. I'm we're almost done. We're Sorry. Okay. So I'm posting the link now. Hopefully it allows me to post since it's my own. Yes. All right. Here you go. So there you have it. I've posted the link. Yeah. All right. So let's go to the final part. Let's go to the final part. And I want everybody to be ready because this one is quick fingers. I'm sorry. A lot of people have been chasing. A lot of people have been ready. Now, this is what I am going to do for you guys. This is actually what I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to do at some point this year a part two and teach absolutely for free a little bit more of the things I wanted. Pundix is a coin I used to hold. With 100 USD, um, someone says with 100. Okay, I'll come and answer questions for another five minutes before I go. Now, um like i said please be ready it will be fastest fingers i will not be able to so first is um the recording of this session would be left on my youtube for you guys the recording will be left here i'm gonna give it to you guys for absolutely free my team will kill me but it's fine i promise i was gonna teach this for free i was not gonna teach it to trap you to buy okay you can come back and come and watch this and use it as the basics for you to be able to start your trading career so that's one so for those of you who just want to come and rewatch and build it that's fine the second is that I'll do a part two to continue at some point. Now, the third, please, I want to know if the money is more than what, let's say, MTN Mo has a limit of receivables. Would it be possible for you to take? Yes, you can take it bit by bit. You can get your other crypto friends to take some for you. As for taking money, um, when you are ready, I will help you. For now, it is you are about to get into actually make when Comfort Asante says, I want to change the number that needs a verification code because I'm not using that. You can change it. I'll help you change that later. Um, so I will keep this recording, and I will do a part two. But I am... Um, see, Fadi has paid for Inner Circle. That's why he doesn't want you people to get anything for free because he paid. So this is my Inner Circle. It's a, it's a trading club. And um, this is everything that I do there. So in my Inner Circle, I train you. I hold your hand, and I train you from basis all the way to the top. So you know crypto as much as I know it. And I do it in a year. 
But because a lot of you are students, a lot of you came into my community from Elvis's tour. One, I'm going to slash the price. And two, you're going to get access for two years instead of a year. Also, because we need to hold through and get to the bull run for a lot of you to make money. Somebody just joined from Taiwan. Good morning, Taiwan. Good morning all the way from Taiwan. That's where Nancy Pelosi just came from. So welcome to my inner circle. This is what you're going to get in the inner circle. We're going to go from the basics, the dark side of cryptocurrencies and how to win. How to uh, how do cryptocurrencies actually work? Somebody asked the question. I couldn't teach that. What drives the price of Bitcoin and altcoins? What is the strategy for investing? The time, the ideal time to buy and sell. How to spot when it's time to sell and time to buy. How to maximize your gains going all in on a single altcoin so that you can change your life with some big money, spotting the most profitable cryptocurrencies to invest in. All of this, this is the basics. From here, you move from this training onto what I call beyond the basics. So there is, what are cryptocurrencies? Bitcoin, all you have to know. Ethereum, which is the king of altcoins. What are altcoins? I told you there's a difference between coins or currencies and tokens. We'll look at that. Then we'll go into a little bit of technical blockchain essentials. Then from there, I will take you to where the money actually begins. Everything you need to get to set up. Today, I gave you about 10 of them, but I will teach more of that. How to change your fiat currency to crypto and crypto to fiat. I've already taught the basic one for you guys. Now, how to buy any of the 10,000 cryptocurrencies that exist. I'll show you how to trade on almost every platform. Sending your money to an exchange from your wallet. Trading on DEXs. Launch parts where you can make 100x to 1,000x with IDOs and private sales and seed sales and the NFTs and metaverse and how you can make money flipping them and then all of that. Then we would go to growing your money more. So fundamental analysis, understanding large, mid and low caps. Uh, my number one consideration when I'm actually investing, everyday profits from your investment, understanding tokenomics, assessing the project's long-term capability. Somebody actually spoke about this. Building a portfolio, short-term strategy, building a portfolio, long-term. So the person who asked for a, a one month on what to do, taking out your profits, cash out, and how to avoid paying high fees when you're selling. Then we go even more money. So I'll introduce you to DeFi and yield farming, DeFi essentials, compounding, where to buy DeFi coins and access DeFi protocols. These are ways you can make money, um, what we call, uh, what's it called, uh, pass uh, uh, passive income, right? Then we go more technical. I'll help you understand what the bear and bull market cycle is, how to spot if a cryptocurrency is about to go up or die, analyzing trades, do you stay or exit a trade? We'll do a little bit of technical analysis, candlesticks 101, spotting of trends and predicting the future price of the coin, doing safe bet investment with infrastructure coins, why they are valuable, exchange coins, why they are valuable, dApps and utility. Somebody asked about utility coins. And I didn't, I wasn't able to answer that as well. I will explain proof of work. Then bonus money is I'll be leading because of my connections and network, a lot of you guys into um, private sales. And we'll talk about private sales later. So initially people used to join this for 12 months and pay $200, guys. And people are here who have actually done that, all right? So I'm about to post a link in the Telegram group. I'm about to post a link in the Telegram group. That link is for anybody who is interested in taking for the next 24 hours i am opening sometimes i don't think that anybody in ghana can do what you're doing now god bless you god bless you so much uh javi thank you so much bro we need to share the information as much as i can i promised three hours i wanted to do it so i'm about to post a link um people join my inner circle for 12 months for 200 dollars and they will renew in 12 months. A lot of you are students. A lot of you don't have money. A lot of my old inner circle people will hate me for this. But for the next 24 hours, you can get into my inner circle for the next two years, for the next 24 months at a 50% discount of the original price at only $100. And only 100 people are getting in with this discount. So it's $100 to get into my inner circle for two years to access every single thing I just spoke about. Now, I have paid, I have posted, I'm posting a link in the Telegram now. It's another Telegram page where the payment details are. So immediately I post the link. The first hundred people who go into my, um, uh, the new, the coin, the link I have posted, you guys have access to this for the next 24 hours after 24 hours is going back to 200 dollars for 12 months you are students i'm doing this as much as i can it, see abba is angry because she's the class captain of the old 
inner circle people who pay $200. So are you ready? Give me your emojis and let me drop the link. Are you guys ready? Drop your emojis. First hundred, guys. You do. You get access. Don't worry. I'll even send you Momo on top. You do. You are in. Don't worry at all. <laughs> I've already done the five X, the five projects. Are you ready? Drop the links and let me drop the link. Drop the fire. Let me drop the link. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. The first hundred guys. First hundred. I'm sorry. Um, so it, it would be the equivalent of Ghana cities, 800 Ghana cities via Momo. Once you click the link and you get into the group, you will see the payment details. It's fastest hands. So as payments are coming in, um, I am closing out. Once the 100 people take the slot, it's done. All right. And once you're done, so when you click on this link and you go into my um, inner circle payments, you see the payment information there and you can start. And guys, the link has been dropped. I have dropped the link in that inner circle. Already for 77, 81 people have seen it. They will fill this group before I can blink. They will fill. People will not get into this. <laughs> I have dropped the link. Already we have 50. Guys, it's finishing. <laughs> I'm, it, look, it's not my fault. When it's done, I would have to close it. We already have 50, 67. If we hit 100... I have to somebody say fifty dollar for a year. You are bargaining. The thing has finished. You will be there and be bargaining. <laughs> Let me answer questions whilst people are getting in. Eighty six. The hundred is finishing, guys. It's it's filling up in literally a minute. <laughs> it's filling up in a minute. If you don't get in, I'm sorry. Ninety nine, guys. It's done. I'm sorry. It's done. <laughs> Payment details are there, so you can start. Um, it says that for those of you who are not on, look at this guy. They've back, they are back again. Block user. Okay, they are gone. Abba, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay. 127, guys. <laughs> then it's the first 100 who pay. I'm, okay, bring your questions. People have failed the place. So you can start making payments. You bring your screenshots. You'll be added to the group. Um, all the payment details are there. All the payment details. Um, so you need to put in your password. Um, Richard, add them logic. Guys, it's 143 people now. It's um, for second, not in. Da, 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 da. Thank you, features coming. Somebody is giving me um, a Bible quotation. Let's all read it. For second, not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. And with all that, getting get understanding. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 6. Thank you, features coming. Thank you, Ronnie Smiles. Um, about what about vexel 150 when it gets to 200? I'm sorry, I'll have to close the group, guys. When it gets to 200, I'll have to close the group. So, you have 24 hours, make your payment. Once the payment is done, you send the screenshot, all the, the payment details are there. So, you send the screenshot to the Lemonade DeFi account that um, is there, and then you will receive the link to join the inner circle, and the journey continues from there. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. Um, let me see your final emojis, feedback. Has this been helpful? Has this, you know, can you actually go out there and say from this webinar, I know a little bit more about crypto and yada, yada, yada. Let me get your final feedback as we wrap up. The video will be live in about an hour. When I'm done, I need to drink some water and then I will get the team to upload the video. Okay? So people have started making their payments, I believe. Um, and they are going to get the inner circle, you know, um, um, link very, very soon. Please, you paid $100 for this. 800 Ghana CDs is no small money. When I give you the link, it's for only you. Don't go and try and share it with anyone, okay? So somebody says, three hour non-stop, Harry Amwa, for fin delivery. You really are your father's son. I'm a son of Pastor Obed. Leave me alone. Thank you, Harry, for being here. You are here at night 10. Wow. He who gives never lacks. For giving us this wisdom, you will never. In Jesus' name, Kofi Aqua. Then it's Agbeko says fire. Somebody says uh, Comfort Asante is crying. I don't know why Comfort Asante is crying. Um, somebody is asking about SRP. SRP, once they win the case, it will skyrocket. I'm holding some SRP. Learned a lot from Richie Kobe. Thank you. Take a screenshot of the stream and post on your stories. Please do that. Please do that. Those of you who are trying to make payments, 
we're now 187 at 200 i will close that offer and nobody would be able to get in again the payment process go to my telegram page i've posted the link you need to get in now because people are literally making their payments now and filling up the slots so you need to go to my telegram page the mediti um, crypto where i have posted the payment link um you click the link you go into another telegram page the payment instruction is there if i put the payment instruction in the main page a lot of you will not get in a lot of you will not get in somebody says you've done it all boss thank you very much kelvin Ousu. i have learned a lot amazing uh delali i have posted in my telegram that's where you go uh crypto gasm achieved fully chronicles fully uh, can you pay and join even if you don't have capital to trade? You need to learn before you trade. And I'll be teaching ways you can make money without any capital in crypto. So that's the best thing to do. My class captain for my inner circle says, best crypto class ever, deep insights. Thank you, boss. You are great. Good vibes. Thank you. Lots of nuggets, Richie Kobe. You are a blessing. Livingston. Is Livingston the one in Norway? Um. So, guys, this is... <laughs> 204. Guys, it's over. Once... Once the first 200 people are done with their payments, I would close this page immediately. In fact, let me go and delete the link from the main page. I'm sorry, guys. We can't take more people. So five more minutes. Let me allow about 50 more people to join. And then that's it. I will delete the link forever. Kwam, what's your view on BlackRock joining partnership with Coinbase? Look, I think it's going to help us bring adoption. It's going to expose institutional invest uh, investors to our industry. It's very, very good for us. It's very, very, very good. It's very, very bullish news. This is the best ever. Kwame, you are forever blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Livingston says you are a blessing. You are a blessing too. Thank you. Very, very impactful. Thank you. Okay. If if you are if the, the payment methods I've given do not fit you, if the payment methods I have given do not fit you, please contact the, the Lemonade DeFi account and I'll help you with other payment methods. Yes. Hello. Um, Jane, hi. Okay. So that's about it, guys. I'm going to have to delete the payment account because it's 215 now. Fire Kowachika Kra, the crypto tab browser. I don't know anything about it. Um, somebody says, Can one make payment through Impesa? Please contact me. Jane, I think you've just contacted me, so I would. Start looking at that. Um, then we have uh, 880 tops. You've just changed lives now. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Please, how can I pay with Bitcoin? Um, if you have Bitcoin, you can just send my Bitcoin addresses there. If you need help, uh, message that uh, Lemonade DeFi and I will help you or guide you in that. We should be thanking you for the opportunity. Boss, see you at Yota tomorrow. Yes, I'm speaking at that event. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, legend. Thanks, Derek. Bless you, brother, for the impact. Thanks, Excel. Um, I'm blessed by your knowledge this evening. God bless you too, Solomon. God bless you, Kwame, Ronnie. Um, thank you, Futures Kwame. Thank you, Derek, for joining. Deborah, can you please list the coins you mentioned? Somebody will list it in. Uh, somebody has been listing it. Kwesi got keys. You're always showing love. Thank you for being here. Opportunity lost. How sad. I It's still open. I've not deleted the, the link yet. Immediately it hits 250. I'm giving you 222, so 28 more people. And I will delete the link. Um, so this one is saying in PESA. Um, yes, I have somebody in Kenya who might be able to do that for me. Um, okay, somebody has already made their payment. Um, okay, I will. Okay, I have the phone here. So please let me finish the... the um, let me finish. Please show. make sure you send proof of payment before you get the link to join. Add me to you do. Comfort Asante, your last warning. Shalom here. God bless you. God bless you, Emmanuel, from beginning to end. Leonis Touch, um, you're a global blessing. Thank you, Kofi Akwakwame. Bless you. Thank you so much, guys. Over God knows how many people stood with us. I'm ending the broadcast and reloading the video in about an hour. I need to go take a, a sip of water. Um, I'll let you know about the part two. Those of you who've gotten into the inner circle, congratulations. I am deleting it right away. Uh, um, I'm deleting the link right away. I think that enough people have had the opportunity to come in. So um, where we let me delete it right away. Hold on, guys. Let me delete it before we get off this call. So payments is now at 
228. Two more people, and the link is gone. Let me delete the link in 10. Let's do a countdown for a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and the link is gone all right so those of you who were able to get in congratulations is a total of 229 i was only doing 100 i moved it to 200 i was moving it to 250 it's done okay guys please enjoy the rest of your night the video will be live very 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 soon and we are good to go so those of you who are in there read the instructions if you have any challenge message the lemonade defy account and i will guide you through to make your payment when you're done with the payment you need to send a screenshot to actually show that you've actually done the payment and then you will receive the link for those of you who started paying please give me 30 minutes to drink water before sending the link to you for you guys to join enjoy the rest of the night thank you so much and i'll see you in the crypto medici community cheers everyone